Hello everyone, welcome to the SN Studio for some old world action, as you can tell by the smile on my face. We are here today deep in the Border Princes and amongst the ruined settlements and overgrown forestry, a orc warband has been charging through, pillaging and raiding, led by a black orc warboss that is commanded today by Chris. Our friend is coming back to the studio. If you've watched our previous sixth edition battle report on the channel, you will remember his um, army, his dead hard, hard boys, I believe, from Grimgore's army of renown. And they will be fighting against the dwarves. Yes, it is a classic, classic matchup. And thank you to Mark for uh, letting us borrow the dwarf army to showcase the rules they have of hatred against the filthy orcs and goblins. It's going to be a great game today, and we are playing the open battle again, uh, like before. We're going to probably play that a couple of times just to get our foot in the door properly with how the old world, old world rules work, and of course, um, get to more complex kind of games as we go on and progress. So, 2,000 points. Let's check out the orcs and goblins list, and that's coming up next. Hi, so today I'm here with Orcs and Goblins to play The Old World. So for some of you that might not have known, I played 6th edition Warhammer Fantasy Battle Report with Grimgore's Ard Boys. That's an army that I uh, built up for Warhammer Fantasy 6th edition, and I'm now trying to transition it across to The Old World. So it's going to be quite Black Orc, uh, Black Orc heavy in this army today. I will expand it out in the future, but today you're going to get to see some of uh, what became known as The Ard Boys. So leading my 2,000 point orc army today, I have a black orc warboss. Very simple, he has an ogre blade for some extra strength and AP and multiple wounds. And he has the talisman of protection just to give him some five plus ward save goodness. My next character in this army is a black orc big boss. He is equipped with a great weapon and the ruby ring of ruin. This gives him a bound item that he can cast Fireball as a magic missile. My third character is a Black Orc Big Boss who has been upgraded to be the army's battle standard bearer. He's got no extra equipment, um, so I think he's, he's pretty good as is. They come stock with 4 plus full plate armor, so he has some degree of protection. And he's got a chopper. My final character uh, running this army today is a level 3 orc shaman or now known as the weird knob and he has a lore familiar so this allows him to uh, select his spells as opposed to randomly generate it so i can kind of cherry pick those spells that i think are actually quite useful for the army moving forward so that is the characters in my army i'll now move on to the core so in the core army uh, my first unit is a unit of 10 savage orcs really you just upgrade these uh, from normal orc mob boys now uh, they have Frenzy, they have Warpaint for a 6 plus ward save, they have a big Stabber, uh, which causes D3 impact hits on the charge. I've got them full command, they've got shields, they're upgraded to biggins, they've got the kitchen sink, everything today, uh, just to make up those 500 points of, of core. They also have a magical standard, uh, and that is the Razor standard, so that will give them uh, armor being 2, and because they're biggins, they also get another armor being one. So actually, they're they're running around with armor being three on uh, what is quite a lot of attacks because uh, orcs in this edition have furious charge, which gives you plus one attack on the charge as long as you have charged a distance of three inches or more. So savage orcs in this edition or this um, uh, old world, if you like, can dish out a, a serious amount of attacks. Uh, today, I it, it's a free upgrade, but I will have them as skirmishers. I want to try something a little bit different, so let's see how that works. My second core unit is a big block of Black Orcs. Now, these Black Orcs are zero to one choice to be core if you have a Black Orc Warboss. So I have got 22 Black Orcs with full command, choppers, shields, and uh, they're also running the War Banner uh, just for an extra bit of combat resolution. Uh, that satisfies sort of the core units for today. Managed to get 501 points. 
uh, just over that 500 point barrier for 25% of my army in the core. So moving on to special, I have got Shock Horror, more Black Orcs. I've got a unit of 17 Black Orcs. They are equipped with great weapons and they have a standard bearer and a champion. My third unit of, uh, of Black Orcs today is a unit of 14 uh, Black Orcs with a standard bearer, a champion, and I'm giving them two hand weapons. So the chopper rule in the old world um, actually applies to your single hand weapon for a chopper, your two hand weapons, and it actually also includes your great weapons. The chopper rule is only nullified if you take a magical item on any of your characters or champions within the units. But the unit of 14 Black Orcs also has a magical standard and it has the rampaging banner. So this effectively allows them to reroll their charge range uh, and their charge distance. Quite useful for an army that technically wants to be in, in combat all of the time. More of my special choices will be wrapped up in an Orc Boar Chariot. I haven't taken any of the upgrades to give it any extra crew, um, but I'm quite keen to see how an Orc Boar Chariot works. Got some Tusker Charge, uh, they've got the Chopper Rule as well, they've got Cavalry Spears, but it has First Charge so it can disrupt enemies uh, so that they don't get their rank bonus when it charges uh, for the first time. And then my final special choice is wrapped up in a single Goblin Bolt Thrower, uh, formerly the Spear Chucker. Uh, they always do terrible for me, uh, but you know what? Let's give them a go in the old world, see if they can do a little bit better. Moving on finally to the rare slots, I have got two rare choices. The first one is a Goblin Rock Lobber. So we're gonna put down some, uh, some Stone Thrower goodness, see how the artillery piece works uh, in, in this new reinvigorated world. Uh, and then finally, we, it's the return of the giant, or as you know, my giant orc, uh, the best model that, in my opinion, that GW has ever produced. Uh, so the orc war boss from Edge of Sigmar is acting as my giant uh, in this battle. That concludes uh, my 2000 points, orcs and goblins for the old world. Here we are, dwarves, old world, I'm super, super excited. I just want to say before we get going, I haven't played Dwarves before. Even in previous editions, I never had a Dwarf army. Um, a huge thank you to Mark, one of our local players, for borrowing the army for me to play with Dwarves. I'm really excited about it. But all Dwarf players out there, please don't put me in the book if I get things wrong. Um, because, yeah, I can't deal with them that many grudges on me. But I'll try my best. I think I've got a good grasp of it at least, um, but most importantly, we're gonna have good fun. So it's 2,000 points exactly, and we are led by none other than a Dwarf King. He has himself the Shield Bearers, and I've given him a great weapon, and I've spent 100 points um, to give him the Master Rune of Adamant, which makes, <laughs> it makes him toughness 10, which is insane. Uh, it's 100 points, as soon as I saw it, I thought, yeah, people are going to want to see that. That's ridiculous. So Toughness 10 will be um, the toughest dwarf ever known. Um, but yeah, that's the king running the show. And then we have supporting him a Thane, which I have upgraded to be a battle standard bearer. Other than that, he is completely um, weapons and magic armor free. But I did get a magic banner, which is the, or a rune onto the banner, which is the rune of fear, which means he can cause fear with the unit, which is really strong if you have big bricks of dwarves like I have. Um, because fear now has changed where you, it's causing fear, but then on top of that, you have to have, uh, you have to outnumber the enemy on top of that. So yeah, really cool. Moving on from the characters in support, we have ourselves a runesmith, just a normal runesmith. Um, and then I have given him the master rune of balance, which is nice, an extra D6 once per turn um, on the dispel attempt, and you have to still remove the lowest, but just increases your odds of getting better dice. Um, which is really nice, and I've given him a great weapon because he's got a big old stick on him. Now, lastly, we have ourselves a Demon Slayer. Had to bring a Demon Slayer, so cool. Um, and I, he's standard, he's got a great weapon because um, he's modeled kind of that way. And then I've given him a Grudge Rune, which basically allows him to reroll once in combat. So kind of handy, it's quite cheap, um, and it fills out my points. That's all of the characters. 
Moving on to troops, we have um, a lot of troops in this one. I say troops, core. A lot of core in this army. Um, first of all, let's start off. We have 29 dwarf warriors. They have, of course, um, heavy armor and shields and just hand weapons. And on top of that, they have full command, um, champion, standard, and musician. Moving on from them, we have what I'm calling today the King's Guard, because the King will be going along with them. It is a unit of dun, 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 Dwarf Warriors, <laughs> 29 of them in the regiment. Um, all of them have great weapons, but I've also given them shields on top of that for a little bit of, you know, if someone shoots them, etc. And you can change your hand weapon shield because they'll have that as well as a great weapon. Full command on them again, which is a big old brick where my, uh, like I said, my king will be uh, marching alongside with them. Then moving on, we have, of course, my um, artillery, and my, my firing squads. We have a unit of thunderers. There's 15 of them. Again, with full command on those guys, obviously all equipped with handguns. And then um, on the other side of that, we have 15 quarrelers. So the quarrelers, again, have full command and all those lovely crossbows. Uh, crossbows are quite good. It's uh, armor bane 2, I believe, strength 4 with a 30-inch range, whereas the handgun is 24-inch range, AP 1 with armor bane 1. So, um, yeah, a bit more consistency with the handgun. I'd like to see how the two compare. Um, we'll see how they get on. Um, and then also in special, we have ourselves now, uh, sorry, in special, we have ourselves some siege equipment. Um, we have ourselves some slayers and some war engines. So let's start with the slayers. We have 15 troll slayers. I didn't upgrade any to be giant slayers because I didn't really have the points. Um, and for the starting off of the first game, it should be easier if they all have the same profile. Um, so 15 troll slayers, but I did give them a standard and musician for a little bit of extra um, support, of course, um, and because they are loners, the Demon Slayer, who is a loner, can join them. Then we have the War Machine side of things. We have ourselves a Great Cannon. Now, this Great Cannon, I have given it a Rune of Forging, which is once per uh, game you can re-roll the Misfire dice, which is kind of handy in, in those situations. Cannons have been um, kind of uh, dumbed down a little bit. Dumbed down is not the right word. Basically toned down, that's the word I'm looking for. Toned down a little bit. They're now D3 wounds and a great cannon is D3 plus one. This is just a standard cannon um, with the rune forging as I mentioned. So let's see how they do. Yeah, um, I'm, I kind of like the change. They're not as, um, you know, sniper, uh, uh, killy as they used to be with the old D6 wounds. Then we also have ourselves an organ gun. I didn't have any points for any runes on top of him. So he's completely stock just being a good old organ gun. They're a little bit different now in firing but um, they still look like a lot of fun nonetheless. So that's the list in its entirety. Like I said, 2,000 points exactly. We're doing a classic matchup, dwarves versus orcs and goblins. Or uh, There's a couple of goblins, so yeah, orcs and goblins. Um, I'm really excited to get this underway. First one of the old world, these two factions for us. So we'll see you there on the table in just a second. Along the snow-peaked mountain range that clipped the edge of the Border Prince's domain, the dwarves of Karak Izzor marched in column. The destination was their mighty keep. Three days' journey following the river Limnala home. These hardy warriors shrugged off the weary efforts of a long campaign in the east. Victory had kept their spirits high. But they yearned for the hard fires and the strong ales that awaited them. Yet, the war boss, Gorlag Gutspiller, and his warband of black orcs had cut off the dwarven forces' road ahead, eagerly awaiting their ancient foes. The orcs were impatient. Drums echoed through the forest as smoke rose above the tree line in the distance, with nearby homes being burnt to cinders. The dwarves faced one more battle before they could pass through the gates of Karak Izzor once more.
go the drums in the deep as the orcs and dwarves finally meet. Oh, it's, a, it's a proud day. It's very proud. It's a proud I'm, day. I'm hyped. Did you call your folks? <laughs> I told everybody. I told, I told all two friends. Yeah. Um, one of them is Tom. Oh, remember MySpace days? Everyone was friend with Tom. Anyway, that's an old joke if you are um, younger. Now let's move on to the old world. We have, of course, another pitch battle. There's open battle today um, because we're going to carry on doing open battles until we're going to get, get grips of everything. And then we'll try all the fancy ones later on. I'm really looking forward to some of the breaking point ones and other bits and bobs. It's a bit like the old edition. But, you know, little tweaks here and there. Yeah. So, um, as you can see, we are on the edges of perhaps the Border Princes. And we've got a Black Orc warband descending through. And, of course, as they march and cause destruction, burn down villages and everything else, some Savage Orcs have joined from, the, from all the fighting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just, I mean, the, what, what happened was yeah. the, the WA was elsewhere. Yes. Going into the Border Princes. Yeah. Uh, these guys saw a boar. Yeah. And thought, oh, <laughs> that's quite nice. We'll, yeah. have, we'll have that for dinner. <laughs> it rode off towards the border princes. These guys gave chase. Yes, yeah. and then there we are. Found themselves joining a new war. So, um, <laughs> a bit more of a grumpy war, I would say. Just more like, you know, stern and quiet. Yeah. Not like the rowdy boys normally are. No. But look, they look they're having fun anyway. They're gonna, and they're up in front. It looks like that they've t taken the initiative by standing front and centre. Yep. And skirmished. They're, well, yeah, they're the, they're the cannon for the <laughs> Like, send in the naked boys first. You know? <laughs> of course, yeah, as I mentioned, it's open battles, which is straight fight until one of us um, says, please no more. Or, of course, um, the six turns are done. Let's quickly go through deployment. Um, I, uh, you won the roll off and pick sites. Yes. And then we obviously alternated. Now, I do get plus one because I did put down one unit before yourself, yep. um, which is quite nice. But anyway, let's start off what we have in the corner. So on my right flank, your left, we've got an orc boar chariot. Yes. Then beside them, we've got the big unit of 22 black orcs with choppers, shields. And in there, we have my black orc big boss with his great heaven and my uh, orc shaman. Yes. Or weird knob. Uh, then we've got a goblin uh, bolt thrower. Yes. Which is now called. Heading up the front. As cannon fodder, <laughs> send in the naked boys first. We, we need have... a we need a name for the for the uh, the naked boys. We do, yeah. Yeah, please yeah. comment below. We need a name. So that's ten savage orc biggins. Beautiful. All tooled out. Um, then behind them we have my general's unit. This is a unit of fourteen black orcs with their two hand weapons. Nice. And, and the general in there, uh, rock lobber. Yep. And beside them, my great weapons with uh, great weapon black orcs with the battle standard bearer in there. And then finally, on my left flank, oh, there he is. a giant. Yes, he's very famous. If you remember, uh, if you watched our sixth edition battle report, yep. where and me and Chris have had a couple of games now where he has done some magic, um, being a big old green beastie. And of course, the chariot being the big ball pig man, um, which you mentioned in the intro. So I love the conversions. I think it's, a, it's just every time I say it, but it's lovely. And a lot of people might not have seen the previous one because they wouldn't watch 6th edition. So this is new for them. Yeah, go over and watch the 6th edition battle report. Yeah. It's proper nostalgia. It is. Yeah. It is a nostalgia blast. Now, in terms of the uh, dwarf lines, we have, of course, a big old gun line in the center. And I'm hoping to pincer. Um, I hopefully you can't hear this. I'm hoping to pincer flank maneuver on both sides with my infantry bricks. Now, of course, we have hand weapons on this side with BSB plugged in there and the runesmith on that flank. Then we have the Thunderers, and then we have the Artillery in the center, and then, of course, the Quarrelers, and then we have the big, um, well, the King's unit, which is basically the great weapons, um, and hopefully he'll put the work in, because he's toughness 10. Toughness 10? Oh, he's just stupid. <laughs> toughness. I mean, <laughs> toughness 10. But hey, look, it's 100 points, and I thought, you know, for the memes, we need to put it on there. And then lastly, we have the Troll Slayers with the Demon Slayer in there. Now, they are all loners, a special rule, and which means that they can't join units that, if they're not a loner and vice versa, but they're all loners. So, you know, he's going to join them because they're loners. <laughs> so with that, um, that's deployment. It's a simple roll-off. Um, I'm using red dice to match the red of these dwarves. Uh, again, thank you very much to Mark for borrowing, uh, letting us borrow these uh, dwarves. I need the dwarf army. I have a bunch of armies, Chris, as you know, but I don't have dwarves and I need them. So if you have dwarves at home sitting on a shelf and never going to be used, send them to poor old DC because <laughs> I'll make use of them. So, um, yeah, let's begin. You're using Green Wah. I 
Yeah. Let's begin. Let's go. <gasps> That's a five. This Ooh, is a two. That is good for me because it means that um, I... Oh, do I want you to go first? Uh, what's the range of your organ gun? Yeah, I need to yeah. check. Yeah. Um, why don't you get closer, maybe? I need some shuffling. Um, you know, um, we'll do some shuffling. Dwarves, turn one. This is it, end of the movement phase for the Dwarf Strongholds. Um, now, we've, on the left flank, pushed up full six inches with the one unit of Dwarf Warriors to shore up this side and make sure if he comes up, I can do a little cheeky charge on him. We've pushed up with our Thunderers because they were out of range, but they do have Ponderous, which means it's gonna be even harder for me to shoot, um, but I need to get them in range anyway, so why not give it a pop? Um, stay put, obviously, with the War Machines, and then we've got the Quarrelers of Stay Put because they've got a nice 30-inch range on their crossbows on the front rank. Marched up on the right flank here with the big um, King Squad of Great Weapon Warriors, and of course the troll slayers as well on the flank to you know hunt down that giant. We're coming for you. Yeah, we're going to see it. We're going to see giant versus slayers. <laughs> That's what everybody wants to see. It's, yeah, exactly. I don't want to see that. <laughs> but still, it's going to happen. Now um, the trap is set. The jaws for the orc head to pop. But first of all, let's start off with a bit of shooting, and let's start off with the cannon. This is going to be our little marker. I'm not going to do any pre-measuring. You can pre-measure, so you can do like, you know, how far is that away and so on and so forth. I'm not against it, but I just think it's more fun that you kind of guesstimate with a cheeky little cannon um, and it does the bounce. So what happens, guys, is you pick a point. So I'm going to pick like here, I reckon. And that's where it'll first bounce. So it'll go that way and it'll go ping and then you see how far it goes. If I roll, that's the wrong dice, if I roll a misfire, then something goes horribly wrong with my cannon, and then I have to uh, check the chart of black powder, and then it probably like something bad happens. But I do have a cheeky forging rune to re-roll that if it does happen. If not, it'll bounce, and let's see how far it bounces. Huh. That's a 10, we're going straight through. So what'll happen is, as Chris will show you, it'll go straight through in a straight line, bam, and it'll hit right at the back of the machine. Um, now I'm strength eight, I believe your toughness is seven on the rock lobber, do you wanna check? My toughness is seven. Ooh, it's just a three. <sighs> yeah, yes, not armor bane. It does have armor bane for sixes doing extra AP, but it is AP two, and the save of your rock lobber is is <laughs> our survey says i don't know if it, have they got um have they got saves in they it? might have a save yeah they might have a save because uh, because ap is now like a different thing um we'll check we'll check we'll check yeah. and then um of course we then do d3 wounds if i can get the wound off does it have any kind of save of course of course they, they don't want to see it but it's actually um it's toughness six as well oh wow and it's got four wounds which i, which oh, I oh okay it's d3 so i can't kill it i can't destroy it but I can do three wounds. Oh, oh that is going to hurt. Down to one wound remaining on the big old beast. And then we'll carry on with the organ gun. And that's going to shoot at some black orcs. Before we move on, I just want to discuss, because we were having a look afterwards, because we after the camera, we were like, oh, let's just check. There's not the split profile, what you hit, what you haven't hit. Yeah. And it wasn't super clear, was it? That essentially it counts as one unit. So you use in shooting, you use the toughness and everything else of, of the big old machine. And then the, the crew have four wounds, even though there's only three models with the crew itself. Yeah. Um, it's a, it was a bit of an odd one to look up. Um, but we just gone by that, you know, you just hit the whole thing. It's one model and you just represent it. It is. It's in different parts of the rule book. Yeah. Um, but interestingly, it doesn't even tell you how many crew. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, crew the machine. It's just crew have four, four wounds, wounds, three attacks. And for every wound that either the entire model loses, yeah. they also lose one attack. Yeah. Um, Which is, yeah, so it's an interesting one. Um, but anyway, so yeah, comment below um, if you have anything different, or if we did that wrong, please, because I would like to learn. Moving on. It is organ gun time, and we're going to fire into these black orcs. Now, it's a little bit different to the previous organ gun. I will show you what happens now. First of all, you roll artillery dice, and it's two shots. Then I roll artillery dice again, and it's another two shots. So it's four shots, and no misfire. If there's one misfire, you get AP1. I say AP1. You get minus one to your hit rolls. Um, and then you just do normal hit rolls now on this one. So in this case, I had four dice, funny enough, right here. Um, I, and you apply all the normal modifiers. So it's long range, because I am yep. 30 inches away. So I'd be normally hitting on, I'm, this is still three, so I'd be hitting on fours normally. 
now fives because I'm long range. Right. And then if I rolled one of the misfire dice, I'd be rolling it in on uh, sixes. Yeah. So yeah, not good. And if you roll two misfire dice, it goes very badly. So that is two hits, my friend. And now I'm showing five. So you threes to wound here because your toughness is four. But sixes, <gasps> yeah, sixes are armor being two. So this one's AP three, and this one's just your standard AP one. So that's, um, these guys have full plate armor now. So yep. black orcs have a four plus armor save. So that's one at minus three. From okay. Armor being. Black. And then a save of a five plus. Ooh. Oh, he loves it. What, his mate got splatted, but he is absolutely fine. Um, okay, first volley with the organ guns. Not too shabby at all. Um, it didn't blow up, which for me, you know. It's always a plus. <laughs> okay, so shooting off some thunderers now. The front rank, because it's not volley fire, the front rank can fire, and we're going to go into the savage orcs, because that's where we're all in target range of. Now, because I'm ponderous, I am hitting on even sevens here. And how'd you get a seven on a d6, you ask? Is, is it sevens? Or is it eights? Because they're skirmishers. Oh, Ooh. yeah, it could be. In which case, I don't even know what I need. Sixes uh, followed by fives. Fives. Wow, okay. So it's going to be difficult anyway. We've got eight shots. Six is, oh, we got one, followed by five. No. Worth a shot. Uh, some gunpowder went off onto the Savage Orcs, but they cared not. And then basically same again, Quarrelers, but the difference here is that they have a nice 30 inch range and they haven't moved. So it's just AP1 for long range against these Black Orcs up in front, needing um, fives in this case, then instead of fours. Fives. We got one six, which is a nice good sign, followed by a strength four, so fours. No, nothing. And that's the end of my turn. Um, it's always a bit of a quick one on turn one. There's no strategy phase, because uh, I have nothing that is required in the strategy phase. Um, I have no psychers. Uh, I say psychers. That's too much 40k horse heresy in my brain. I know. I'm sorry, no everybody. Too much wizards. Some wizards. Um, I just want to say, in the Ar Arcane Journal for Bretonians, yep. you can take an exiled um, Bretonian like, army of renown, and you can take rogue wizards. That's I just, I, I love it. I just love it. I want an army with a rogue wizard in it. Um, anyway, uh, I'm on a tangent. That's my turn done. I've moved. I've got ready. I've done some firing. I've killed an orc and I've done some wounds on, on a, um, I was going to say trebuchet. That's a bit too fancy for you. <laughs> <laughs> Orcs have advanced up the field in classic stoic Black Orc fashion with some screaming savage orcs, naked as the day they were born. Um, or are they born or just grown? Uh, who knows? Pop out for Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's what we do. Anyway, um, okay, so. Um, oh, that's a niche Lord of the Rings joke. That's, that's, that's high-level nerd right yeah, there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's begin. Um, let's talk us through, actually, you talk us through movement. What was the plan? What was the idea? So ju just to let everybody know, um, I don't have anything to do in the strategy phase. No. Um, so we move straight onto the movement phase um, because my enchantment spell was going to have no effect. No. Um, Next so, turn, maybe. Yeah. So straight onto the yeah, yeah. maybe. So straight onto the um, straight onto the movement phase. I've pretty much done the orky thing or the orc thing and, and just pushed up with all of my infantry. It's beautiful. Uh, left the uh, war machines lumbering behind so they can get off some pesky shots. Yep. I, I sort of on purpose. I've I've. Uh, like stopped my line of sight towards your big general's unit with my rock lobber because yes. I want to see what it does for indirect fire. Yes, yes, um, you can so do that. that yeah. That'll be quite interesting. Yeah. Um, I do have a conveyance spell. Oh, you do, which you do in the movement phase. Which I do in the movement phase. Yes. However, it's not going to have much of an impact. Basically, no. I can I can just pick up this character or a, a character, know, a character, and yep. place him 2d6 inches on the battlefield from his original location. So basically, you can teleport people in and out of combat. That's cool. Um, strategically place them in like flanks or yeah. elsewhere, which is quite nice. Kind of um, Don't need it right now. Don't need it right now. <laughs> that's fair enough. So with that, that's the movement phase done. Any magic, of course, in both phases done, uh, or, or, or sections, phases, anyway. And then we go on to shooting, and that's coming up next. Shooting phase, and we have the not spear chucker, spear chucker, bolt thrower. Um, bolt thrower. Yeah, it's a bolt thrower. Um, maybe they later, in hundreds of years later, they go like, should we just call it spear chucker? And everyone's like, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> still a spear chucker. Yeah, it is, in our hearts, still a spear chucker. So uh, it's going to fire at my dwarfs here, yeah, like a little juicy line. Now they can only hit one rank per at a time. Can't do multiple ranks, etc. now, which is quite nice. Um, so yeah, let's, let's do this. First of all, um, you're within normal range, right? You're not long range. 
So not, not long range. Nice. Um, so it's just a four to hit. Let's do this. The way this will work is if I roll to hit, yes. it inflicts a hit on each rank. Each rank. But it will, so that will be a, a strength six hit, then yeah. a strength five hit, strength four, four hit. Very so similar, simple. but I can't see anything in the rules to say that you have to kill the model in front of front. you. Yes, we did look at that. So and if we're missing something, again, comment below and we shall read and go, oh yeah, they were right, page one, they were. Until so, then. Four is to hit. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's the end of that then. <laughs> all that talk for nothing. Um, all right, <laughs> that's the that's one done. Uh, let's try the rock globber, and that's going to be time for Chris because it is rock globber first shot in old world, um, and we know what's going to happen. So, <laughs> um, uh, as you mentioned previously, you want to try and hit my king's unit. Um, so let's go right in the center. But it is in direct fire now, um, which basically means if you roll a hit roll, you have to count the arrow on the hit roll, and then minus your ballistic skill, a bit like Horus Heresy, minus your ballistic skill to the roll itself because you kind of like your scouts are angling to where you think it is. So um, let's roll some dice. Let's see what happens. <gasps> and this is because I don't draw a line of sight yes. to, the, to the unit. So let's see where we go. Oh, oh interesting. Interesting. So it's um, going to be a, well, what's your ballistic skill? Three? My ballistic skill three. So actually, we can see the arrows just coming down this direction. I rolled a 10. It's indirect fire, so I minus three from that. So unfortunately, it's seven inches. <laughs> in this direction Blah. and it gets nothing deadly squat it looks cool and that's half the battle really isn't it and that's all you're shooting right that's everything done that is everything done because my um character that has his bind item yep. that contains fireball yep and my uh, magic missile from my shaman yep my weird knob uh, they can't be cast no because they uh, marched because they marched yes you can only move and cast the magic missile not yes. march which is cool um, so, you know, they're busy marching and running up. So, uh, yeah, with that, that's all that done. Let's head up to my strategy phase. And it's done. Um, because there's nothing to do again. Uh, and then we're off to movement. Coming up next. Here we are, end of the movement phase for the dwarves. And as you can tell, there was no charges because I didn't you know, start with the charges, then do movement. <laughs> because there's no need, there's no need to charge. I couldn't charge, I'm out of range for everything. Because Dwarves got um, small, itty bitty uh, movement. It's only three. Tiny legs. Yeah, tiny legs, but stout hearts. Now, um, we've positioned ourselves to get ready for some charges here, um, and obviously defending this flank so I can carry on shooting as long as possible in classic Dwarf style. And then here, we have also done the same, but we've kind of um, moved. Now these are open order, and because they're open order, they get a free 90 degree pivot if they don't march, which they haven't. They've just moved up and then pivoted, because if the, the old giant goes in there, then of course he's gonna get flanked, or killed by the Demon Slayer anyway. And then if the giant goes in here, same. So it's kind of a bit of a trap. I want to hold that line again um, on the right flank, or my right flank. So now I'm just shooting. Let's just start off with um, a bit of the good old Thunderers. So eight shots again into the um, Savage Orcs. Uh, no, into the Black Orcs, because I'm all in range and they are close order, so I can don't get any minus ones, which is nice. Um, I am long range, just minus one. So it's fives and then sixes because, no, just fives. Just fives. Just fives, sorry. I was talking, thinking of the skirmishes. Fives to hit on the orcs, the black orcs. So that's really good. Yeah. Let's go, boys. Strength four here. Um, going straight in, wounding on fours. <gasps> wow, we've got three um, at AP one. And then um, I believe it is AP one with armor bane one on top of that. So that one is AP two. Um, which my lovely assistant is checking. Ta -da. <laughs> uh, yeah, strength four, AP Perfect. minus one, and armor being one. Look at that. So three at AP one, please, sir. So these guys are um, have full plate armor and shields. Nice. So it's actually a three plus uh, armor save. Becomes so this a four plus. Is three out of four plus. Ooh. Two. Drop um, two. One at a. You can roll that again. That's cocked. Uh, oh, uh, so lucky. Two. Two dropped. I tell you what, I'm happy with that with the Thunderers. Two Black Orcs down um, from that squad. And then over here, we'll just do the same with the Quarrelers. And they're going, however, into this squad of Black Orcs over here. Now, um, let me check. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I've got eight. Um, and there's eight in the front rank. And if they're on a hill, which I haven't got yet, we haven't, we're lacking of hills here in SN. Good. Because uh, <laughs> then they both ranks could fire. Anyway, um, hitting on fours, fives because of um, range. So that is just the two this time. Not as accurate as my um, pistolas. 
Um, but we do have one wound at no armor bane, so just just normal save. So full plate armor, no shades on these, four plus. Hey, okay. oh, you're loving that, aren't you? Yeah. You are loving that. Okay, next up, I'm going to have a little think of where my war machines are going. A little boo-boo on my half. I keep forgetting that the veterans in here, the, the champions, um, they get a little bit better ballistic skill. So they shoot better. But you know what? I'm happy with two dead black orcs. You're happy. We're all happy. Um, as long as we're all happy in life, then what else does it matter, right? So, but next time I will remember a little pip extra of um, ballistic skill for those um, dead-eyed shots from the champs. Now, uh, let's go on to the organ gun, going into these black orcs to thin the rank a little bit more. Uh, first dice. Ooh, that's a big six. Ooh, a four. That's ten shots. How do you feel about that? Yeah, that's all right. That's, pretty, that's average. Mm, four, six, eight, ten. Is it average? I can't count. Okay. So, um, <laughs> let's begin with um, its range. So, it's normally four, it's now five because I'm long range still. Whoop. Uh, oh. Oh. Hello, sir. Now, this is strength five, AP one, but the armor bane is two. Two. Ooh. Sixes. Uh, so, it's threes to wound, um, but no sixes. So just three at AP1, please, sir. Three at AP1. At your black orcs with a full plate. So they have five ups now. Correct. <gasps> oh, oh, three go down. Three go down. Is that 25%? Math on camera. Math on camera. Yeah, I mean, calculate it later. <laughs> <laughs> the, pres um, the pressure's just The pressure's too, too much. much. Let me quickly check the cannon while we do that and see what I'm firing at. I think I'm going to try and kill that rock blubber again. Here it is. The death skull. I'm guessing around here, because that's where I'm just going to bounce. And we're going to roll it. <gasps> Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a big six. Does that go in? Does that go in? It goes, it goes in. It goes in. It goes in. Even if I roll a misfire now, it doesn't matter, because it still hit him. It doesn't just go on through. So with that, on the wound roll of three. Oh, actually, the wound roll of two. Oh, because two, because sorry. I am toughness six, I keep thinking seven. Of, yeah, yeah, I keep thinking of seven. I'm seven. That's a wound either way. Um, and I mean, if this is for the lols now on how many yeah. D3 wounds you do, but oh, you two. Have one smashed to pieces, unbelievable. Do we have any fire? Because last time, <laughs> for some reason, um, we made everything combust. So there it goes. <laughs> Incredible. For some reason, <laughs> it's just a flaming wreck. Um, it was covered in paraffin again. Why do you keep doing that to your war machines? Oh, they like to grease it up, don't they? <laughs> There we are. Successful shooting phase overall for the dwarves. Pretty happy with that. And uh, they actually don't need to do any panic at all. They are immune to panic. They don't care. They care not for panic. Ignore panic. They did. But even if they did, it wasn't enough. I was just trying to put them on the spot because my, I can't add up those percentages on, like, like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I try and punish others for it. So uh, with that, that is my turn done. We now go on to Orc's turn. And do you have any charges to declare? Uh, let's get the special charges out. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. We shall see. Well, what, what I want to do first, actually, okay. is um, is in my strategy phase... Oh, yes. I'm going to cast... I almost forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going to cast enchantment. Okay, that sounds good. Um, so, I, you know, I don't know if this is genuinely going to come into effect, yep. but, hey, everybody's going to see how it all works. Yes, it's true. So I have the spell, here we go. Okay, and what does that do? Enchantment, casting level nine. Okay. Range on a self. Yeah. Um, any friendly unit that is within the caster's command range during the declared charges and charge reaction subphase okay. of this turn, uh, increases its maximum possible charge range by three inches. Okay, nice. And then on its charge roll, it adds plus D3. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. So you need a nine plus your wizard level. Uh, yes, and I am going to cast that on. Dun, dun, dun. And I can actually, do you know something? I can pre-measure this, can't I? You can, you can pre-measure. Welcome, welcome so, to the world of pre-measuring. Look at this. So that, that would be the longest charge, 13 inches, and I would just make it in. Okay. Um, so I would need to roll extremely hot. Yes, you, you would. But, but hey. you know what? That's where the fun is. <laughs> I love it. Let's do this. Okay, so you need a nine to cast. I need a nine to cast. So, because he's level three, I'll add plus three to this. Uh, yeah, okay. So need a oh, he's level three. Nice. He's a level three. So. Oh, that goes off. That does go off. Um, I. Ooh. Um, I don't. I'll let you have this because it's still a long bomb to actually get it. And I kind of want to see it happen. Um, I don't mind combat with that. 
Um, but I was going to do my, I have a massive amount of balancing to do like an extra D6 kind of shutdown. But of course, you do have um, other spells and whatnot. So I'll wait for those. Yeah. Although saying that, you're, you know, you can dispel. I can anyway. As um, many times as you want. Yeah, well. apologies. I, anyway, I just was talking about my, my special one. Yeah. And nothing. There we go. So, um, and you get a, an army-wide fated dispel with no power level as well. That's right. Which is yeah. nice. But I am within 24 in this case, so I can dispel with my wizard level. Um, or my, sorry, my runesmith level, because he technically counts as a wizard, but he's not. So don't shout at me, dwarf players. I'm not <laughs> saying he's a wizard. Um, now charges. So charge. Strategy phase done. Let's do this. So um, th this is a death trap. Yes. Th this, I would... <laughs> Never normally do this. I'm doing it for the story, yeah. for, for the, the, the people watching. That's what you tell yourself. But my giant's going to charge in against your general's unit. Oh, interesting. He's going to completely ignore the slayers. Yeah, of course. Uh, the being of the giant. I'm going to hold, of course. Nothing else I'm going to do, because um, I'm a dwarf. These guys are... are doing the crazy charge. Going to try the crazy charge. I like it. I like it a lot. The chart is not. No. Because I'm not confident these guys are going to get it. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, there's been all, kind of, all kinds of mess going on over there. Um, and everything else is probably out of range, right? So, everything else will be out of range. Yeah. So just two charges. Let's do it. Let's grab the charges, measure them up, and then catch you back in a second. So, charges, charges. We've all um, measured them up. We're ready to roll. But first, but first, we have a fear check. Because I have uh, eloquently named Rune of Fear on my BSB, which makes this unit fear. And fear is a little bit different now, right, Chris? Because it's if you're... A Bigger, if you have a bigger unit. Yeah, so you you have to outnumber and cause fear. I like that. For me to take my test. Yeah, because like one lowly, I don't know, fear causing ogre or something is not as scary. You're 20 dwarf warriors. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so will you will you shake in fear? I will not. not. You laugh it off. And then I have, of course, a terror test, because this thing causes terror, and I am over here. Uh, we're fine. We're fine. Actually, I need to check. You might be immune to fear and stuff, and uh, I'll check. I don't think if, if he is, I don't think the unit becomes that, if I remember rightly reading the rules. Okay. Um, but I will check that and let you know or forget, and then you'll comment going, hey. <laughs> um, now, let's roll off on the charge rolls. Let's start off over here. Now, in classic Chris form, let's see if he if his impetuousness. Yeah. I know. A five or a six. But it's all for nothing. No, that's that's <laughs> awful. <laughs> that's an awful, that's a failed charge. So you just go to the charge roll, you discard the lowest, so it's a two-inch charge. Yes. He goes, doop. <laughs> so, so it's like uh, he, he's just stubbed his toe on a big rock. He did. Stood on a D4 or I'm just something. Gonna put, I'm just going to put this here for my turn. There you go. Yeah. So <laughs> over here, um, let us begin. We need, now, don't forget, because of here we go, you get extra three-inch charge range and D3 to this. D3. So I need to max this out. I need to see a six on one of these dice. I believe in you. And when I roll my D3, I need a five. I love it. <laughs> Only you do this. I love it. I didn't tell him to do this off camera, I swear. He is this wild. <gasps> no. no. Close. It is close. Um, now, the good question is, there is modifier to your charge roll, right? And you, you have to move your charge roll. So I guess you have to roll that D3 and move forward that? I think so. So yeah. I'll roll the D3. That makes sense. Uh, get a one, one. So, so that will effectively mean that's a six. Six, that makes sense. And I will move forward six. Yeah, so we'll move forward six here, and then uh, we've shuffled there, and then we'll do the rest of normal movement coming up. Here we are, end of the movement phase for the orcs and goblins, the black orc war boss mob of doom. That's their actual official title. That's the Latin. Of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Black Orcius, Nastius. Sounds like a wizard uh, spell. Anyway, um, move forward. Push the center ground with his savage orcs being prodded by the Black Orcs behind them to move forward. Push forward with the um, great weapon wielding Black Orcs on my right flank here to support the failed charge from the giant. Um, and then the chariot kind of got stuck in classic, again, Chris style, where <laughs> you always clog up your armies. <laughs> it happens every single every time. Every time. And he, the bases are bigger in the old world, yeah. so there's even more opportunity to mess up. For you, yeah. Phase. He does it every time, guys. Off camera, on camera, I love it. Um, never change. So, with that, it's just shooting left, right? Because of all the failed charges, just to remind you that you failed them all. Um, <laughs> the, the bolt thrower spear chucker doom um, chucker. Yeah, that's Steer. all I've got to shoot with because the magic missile again from the uh, orc shaman yep. can't, or orc weird knob yep. uh, can't go off because it was a failed charge. Yep. Um, and you don't want to cast any other stuff, right? The movement during that. Yeah. No, I've got other spells, but situational and not for now. Agreed. Not for now. Okay. So let's go. 
Spearchucker. Spearchucker against the uh, Thunderers. Thunders. Yep. Ooh. They need a four to hit. Already. Ooh. Ooh. It hits. Okay. Now I get one strength six hit. Yep. And one strength five hit. Yep. That's how we're playing it. Comment below. Um, and, you know, we'll... Because it just says through and through. So one strength six. Ooh. That's one dead. And one strength five. Oh, my God. Because cool. that's AP3, right? That is AP3. And it actually has the <sighs> multiple wounds two. Wow. Rule. So... Both throwers. Yeah, the new the new good. Um, <laughs> okay, with that, that is all the shooting done. That is, that's your movement. That's everything done, right? That's your turn. Uh, movement. Yeah. Spattering of magic. Yep. Some I like shooting. It. Yeah. yeah. All done. Now, um, charges. That's an easy one for me. Uh, obviously, my strategy phase, and I'm done. There is no strategy needed for me. I have Rally and Cry and something else, but I don't need it because nothing's running away. We're going in there. Um, and we're immune to psychology, my friend, so there's no worrying of me taking any kind of tests. We care not. Um, and then over here, um, oh, it's a tough one. I think I have to, because otherwise you have to charge me and get the, the benefits. Um, I'm going to charge over here as well. And I'm just going to try and pepper and shoot everything into those savage orcs. To, 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 um, you know, they got big stabbers and they're getting closer. So, so if, if Ginger Steve is watching yeah. this... Um, I Steve. brought these because I know you just went out and bought loads of orcs. Yes. I want to see savage orcs. I, I tried to bribe uh, <laughs> DC not to like to leave them alone. Yeah, the yeah. Let's see how they go. Yeah. Um, no, he's just going to unload. Yeah. So. This is yeah. It's just for you, Ginger Steve. I am going to shoot them off the table so you won't see them in combat, and I will sleep happy tonight. So I did check, and I was right. the The Lord is stubborn. So the first time you would roll for a pain test, you can. Um, for losing combat, you can like choose to fall back in good order rather than flee entirely. But if you have a unit that's not stubborn, you can't. They can't use it, so it becomes ineffective essentially. So, so if you want to use stubborn, the character yep. has to be stubborn, and the unit yeah. that you put them in also has to be stubborn yes. for you to keep that rule. Exactly. If it's only one, you don't get it. Yeah, but uh, things like hammerers would be stubborn, so uh, that's why you put him in. But uh, yeah, he's in his war warrior king's guard. Now on to charges. Let us begin. I need a four on one of these dice. Oh, they're in with extras. Do you want some cream on top, my friend? Yes, there you go. And that's the cherry. Both units are in. How do you feel about that? Um, well, it seems like I declared the charges. Yeah. I lost a little bit of steam. He did, he did. I, I kind of got tired early yeah. on. And, uh, and yeah, charged by dwarves. <laughs> So, just for information-wise as well, that my unit causes fear, but when I charge a unit, it's not about them taking a fear test. It happens during the combat phase. And obviously, I was immune to psychology over here. Um, so, they, they don't care. They don't care not. They want to eat that giant. Now, um, we're going to do some shooting. We're going to do some thunderers. Um, one of those, again, is going to be a crack shot, and we're going to put it into the skirmishers. So, it's just minus one at this point, because they are nice and close. So... Oh. Yeah, minus one for skirmishers. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So, looking for fives. Uh, fours on the main guy. Oh, he misses, and then fives on the rest. Uh, ooh, that's what we want, though. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. Now, this is um, strength four, toughness four for the orcs. Um, so that's three wounds, please. One of them is armor bane for AP2, but they have war paint, so... They do, yeah. So they've got shields for a six plus save, but that's completely negated by your um, standard AP. Yes, straight little um, So I'm going to to six plus war paint. Let's see if this tattoo... <laughs> will will Gork and Mork save you? No. no, it does not. Yeah, he does. <laughs> um, so, oh, big stabber's gone. Uh, and, yeah. yeah, it's just a showing rather than um, you just pay for the upgrade of the unit, right? Correct. So, yeah. um, that is them done. Now I'm going to shoot some. Whoa, do I want to shoot some quarrelers at them? <laughs> I need a little think. One second. I'm going to give it a moment for my quarrelers to see what happens. I think I might put them into the. Um, the Savage Orcs again to thin the herd, um, but I might also put my organ gun into them as well. Um, but anyway, until then, we're going to fire the cannon, and we're going to put the little death head right here, the head of death, and then we're going to roll dice. Eight. <sighs> cool. Cut straight through. Bam, bam, bam. So this, it actually lands here. Nice. And then sticks in the ground. So, so they... It would hit the three ranks. No? No, no. So oh, you, you've placed your token, you then roll your artillery dice to see where it lands. Oh, of course, when it lands, of so course. It's just landed. Bounced. Sorry, I'm thinking a t step ahead here that I've <laughs> bounced already. Um, I've done a step ahead. So, um, missed. 
curses. Now, on to the organ gun then. <laughs> um, oh, do I do that though? Because can you measure that for me? I think that's 15 inches straight into your Orcs of the Savage. It is. So it's just minus one as normal. I'm gonna shoot them. I need to try and, I need to put them down because I don't want them um, charging my Thunderous. So with that, first number of shots, they're just two. That's okay, you're happy with that. Second number of shots is a misfire. So it's two shots at minus one, plus another minus one, so it's uh, sixes now to hit, because it would be fours, uh, minus one for them because they're skirmishers, and then minus one because of my misfire. Um, and I missed twice. So that is what I get for being greedy, trying to shoot them. Now I just have quarrelers, which I then now need to put into the Savage Orcs as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One of them is gonna be shooting, hitting on a four, uh, which he hits, and the rest is hitting on uh, no, sorry, it'll be hitting on minus one for skirmishes and long range. So we're looking at fives for them. Um, no, fives for him and sixes for them. Uh, yeah, correct. Oh, just one. one just one. Just the main guy himself. We got there eventually, folks. But that is a wound. And it is armor vein, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter because your shield. It goes straight through your shield. Yep. And armor vein two. So it goes into your war paint. Tattoo. Oh, oh, got another one. Almost. Almost. Almost, another one dead, but they are frenzied folks, so there's no, um, there's no need for a, uh, a test for them. That's all my shooting done. Not as good as I wanted. I killed, what, four Savage Orcs? Uh, yes. That's okay. Four Savage but Orcs. for all of that, um, my organ gun let me down that time. That's okay. We shall, um, we shall see. Now, now all we need to do is do some combat. The first combat of our world. I know, <sighs> I I'm know. so excited. I'm excited. Where do you want to start? I'll let you pick. Um, I sort of just want to start with the giant because I'm, I'm most excited about this yeah, combat. Yeah, let's do it. All right, giant versus, I guess, demon slayer first and then the troll slayers coming up. The time has come, the time has come. Demon slayer, um, he has a great weapon. Yes. Um, but his initiative is one now because it's a great weapon before modifiers. Yes. So he gets plus three to that. So initiative four right now. Initiative four. Now, he is, um, the, the troll slayers are then initiative five, so they would go first. They for would. him, right? Yeah. So, we have six attacks, because there's three of them in base base contact, and one of them is a supporting attack in the front rank, because he gets to fight, so just one extra attack from him, which is the cheeky red one, just for funsies. Um, now, I am weapon skill four, so you are weapon skill three. Correct. Threes to hit, which I am re-rolling, because I hate you, and we're going to make a point here, because we had a little look. We think that, because it's hatred orcs and goblins, that it's everything faction-wide, and even though a giant is technically an orc and goblin, and then to add more confusion, you've actually painted a big orc <laughs> <laughs> as your giant. Um, but a giant is not an orc and goblin, but we, we think it's faction-wide. It doesn't say anything otherwise. Yeah, we'll just we'll play it faction-wide yeah. until we find out. Otherwise, exactly. Um, we could be idiots, but that's how we saw it anyway. So re-rolling these three because it's hatred. Uh, and then we have, because we're slayers, we have fours to wound automatically, um, which is nice. Uh, so that's three wounds. Three wounds on you. Do you have any saves? I do not. Oh, three wounds down. Now the Slayer, Demon Slayer gets to play. He's weapon skill seven, so he's hitting on twos. Now he can reroll ones, and he can also, because um, he has the Grudge Rune, and also he rerolls because he hates you. Oh, he doesn't hate you that much. And now uh, he's went six, so he's looking for fours anyway, either way, because it's a great weapon. And that is, oof, that is looking to be real painful. I think um, it's armor bait anyway, with... Um, with a six yep. on my great weapon. And then it's D3 multiple wounds either way. So D3 and D3, because he is a behemoth. Um, that's another two wounds, and another one wound. So another three wounds. So that is six wounds, and the giant only has six wounds. Oh, just about. That's quite lucky. Um, sad for you. Actually, I'm not sad for you. I mean, it was really... <laughs> It was a really bad matchup for me. I just tried the long bomb to go and pick up his, uh, his lord. And it's true. Stuff him in my pants. <laughs> Um, hey, look, whatever you want to do on the weekend. Yeah. So, how, how fun is that? You know, that is great. Slayer's uh, taken down a giant. Exactly. Boom. So the giant is slain. We will, um, I guess, advance, uh, do um, uh, overrun. And I can't fail, really. So I'm just going to straight into that unit. We'll work that out in a second. And then we'll get on to this combat coming up. Oh, and I get minus one to that because I'm resolute as, an, as a dwarf. All right. I have timber. So oh. I, I will fall over on top of you. Yeah. So we'll figure out how this works. Yeah, we'll figure out how it works and get back to you in a second. So we checked out the timber rules, and it's a roll-off, which is amazing. Um, so <laughs> me and you roll off, and then anything in base contact, right? 
kind of can. So if you had a unit next to you in base contact, they could fall on your unit yeah. if I run the roll off. But it's only just me and you. So, so they they've got rid of the giant template, which yes. was a thing and caused loads of what? Yeah. Arguments. <laughs> Not very often, but they yeah. did. So now the winner of this roll off just picks an arc. So front, rear, yep. sides, uh, and they get to choose what way it falls. And it will fall onto something in base contact on that arc. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so hopefully I win this roll off. That's a four. Oh. oh, five. Well, my giant falls forward. Uh, of course he does. Yeah. And yeah, of course he does. D6 hits at the strength of the giant. So the giant's strength is six. Wow. So D6, strength six hits. Oh, that's four. That's not what I want to see. Okay, four, strength six hits. I'm tapping as four. So twos to, to kill. Look at that. Four dead. Wow. Um, wow. At least he done something. Did he, though? A glorious death. A glorious death. I mean, did, is that glorious death for them? Um, he's gone. <laughs> Um, and I will uh, we'll sort out the overrun into them, but that timber's some sorted, and I've been working out my attacks while we're sorting out as well. Exciting. We're moving to casualty there. I did check. I did get a six, and because of my runesmith, he gives armor bane two and flaming attacks. So, bam, ate that orc. Um, but not great after all that fighting. Only one orc slain. But I do have my rune priest going this because he's initiative four, even though he's a great weapon because he charged. So, he goes the same time as this um, shaman. Um, so, I'll, I'll just give him a roll. Looking for threes. Uh, I hate you, so I'm going to reroll. That was a hit. And, oh, so one again. Not great. Not great, boys. And then we're looking at that for a wound. Uh, go straight through again, unless you have, uh, no, it's AP2. So you have a shield and um, full plate, right? Yeah, so I'm up onto a five plus. <gasps> nope. nope. We've got another one. I'm happy with that. At least another orc is dropped. Um, that's something at least. So now you get to fight back, which I don't appreciate. I do. So I've killed two orcs, so these two orcs won't be fighting because the other two step forward. But we've got one orc, uh, two orcs here, sorry. I guess there's a champion and a normal orc. And then you have the big boss guy and the shaman. Yep. So okay. um, my shaman will attack first. Uh, he has weapon skill four. Okay. Uh, so hits on fours. Fours, yeah. So two hits. Okay. Um, I'm tough as four, though. I'm not as strong, but I am tough. Excellent. So I am strength four. Like the milky bar kid. The monkey bar kid. That is one wound. The full okay. armor save. Full armor save. Okay, heavy armor and shield. So four up here. No! One of the dwarves are taken down by the bonking bones of the shaman. Which I do like as a shaman. There's a good shaman model. Um, I also like the OG one with like the hood. And he's like that weird mushroom stick thing. I like the old school model. Yeah. Great. Full of character. Anyway. Um, now, as we're going through initiative order, it's my black orcs who are initiative three. Great. Um, so, weapon skill four here. Yep, the two of them that are fighting, so um, one champion hit. and the normal guy, so yep. just the one hit. Uh, strength four. Uh, that Ooh. is one wound. Okay. Uh, any AP for chopper stuff? Uh, no AP, no. Okay. So, oh, another one down. Another one down. Don't appreciate this at all. Um, so, with that, you now have your big boss guy. Um, he is to fight, which I'm, I'm not, not looking forward to, if I'm honest. So, my Black Orc big boss is weapon skill six. Okay, wow. So, hitting on threes. Yep. Um, of course. Of course. Good for me. And he is armed with a great weapon. So, he's strength four normally, plus so two strength. strength. And six. His, to my toughest four. His strength is six. So, twos. Ooh. And that's armor bane, so... Uh, well, it's just minus, uh, I think it's minus two. It's minus two, but I think great weapons have armor bane on top of that. Oh. Uh, I could have. I could be wrong. Um, either way, I'll roll it to see what happens. It matters not when I roll over two. Uh, another dwarf is slain. That is not good for me, um, because I think that means I lose combat by one. Because I... Uh, was it armor bane? It is indeed armor bane. Yay! So I was, I was right. Vindication. Now, um, I have killed... Two orcs, was it? I have a banner. I have a BSB. I have maximum two ranks because I am a closed order unit. And I believe I get an extra plus one because I am closed order. Excellent. Now, you, on the other hand, you killed three dwarves. I do. You have a banner. I have a banner. You are closed order. I am close order, which gives me... Sorry, that's the two ranks. Yep, two also ranks, sorry, close and order. closer bonus. And I also have the war banner on this unit. No! Yeah, so... What are you doing to me? Okay, time to roll off. So, I lost by one. 
He lost by one. The leadership of my thing is dun, 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 nine. So, and is he stubborn? Let me quickly check. Uh, yes, but it doesn't matter because the units are stubborn because we discussed that earlier. Come on, DC. Now, here we go. We're okay with minus one. We're okay. So we just fall back. Uh, sorry, it's the wrong words. We give ground two inches. So we go like that. And then you get a choice of either pushing up or just sitting there. It's up to you. I'm just going to, I'm going to sit here, ah. build up some momentum, <laughs> sharpen like the choppers. Yeah, okay. Okay, I like that. Um, so ooh, that's going to hurt the next turn. With that then, that is my turn done. Not bad on this right flank. I quite like this. Giant down, big old um, uh, rock lobber gone. Um, combat's going to be over here. I've got a big old brick to head this flank. This flank not looking so good. Hopefully my dwarves can hold the line against the horde. Here we are with the orcs and their turn three. Is it turn three? Uh, turn three. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. Let's begin. I'm about to get up all in your grill. <laughs> Strategy phase. Let's yeah. begin. What are we doing? So I'm going to cast an enchantment. Oh, okay. With my shaman. I like this. Uh, here we go. So this is going to add a uh, maximum possible charge range yes. by three inches yes. and increases the actual charge roll itself by D3. And I'm going to cast that onto my Savage Orc. Ah, there you go, Ginger Steve. You're happy now. So um, I guess you need nine, right? Uh, so I need nine. He's level three, so I need a six. And actually, one of the things we forgot uh, in my one of my phases, I believe, is that he has a rule which gives him plus one to yep. his cast uh -huh. if he's in... A unit of ten or more orcs. Great. I think it's called the mob rule, but ultimately I'm getting plus four to, to this rule. Nice. Okay. Nice. Cool. So cast on a nine plus, and it is cast. Yes, with uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So cast on an eleven. Yes. So I would need, oof, I would need double sixes then to, sh or, or is it? Yes, double six to shut that down. So. Uh, I'm gonna try anyway. No, do does your your Rune Smith? I think counts as level one. He does. So he counts does he level get, one. I said level two earlier, plus but one he, he's he does. One? But I do have my once per game. Um, I'm gonna try it because I think you're gonna try and charge here, and I want to try and slow that down. Um, so I'm gonna throw my once per game rune of balance, master rune of balance, so I get to roll an extra d6 and then discard the lowest, um, which is not enough. So that's nine. That's ten if I discard that one. So not enough, but worth a shot because I needed, um, you had seven, you had eight, nine, ten, you had 11. So yeah, because of that plus one, lucky well, you remembered, so. Well, do you know something? <laughs> this is why you read the entire, <laughs> read the entire. Yeah, thing. what have you got? The range is is just self. Ah. It's the way it's worded is any friendly unit that is within, oh, it's, it's within the caster's command range, so I can do it. And uh, Yes, and they are in um, his command range. Yeah, yeah so. so on my Savage Orcs, here we go. Okay, that's good, that's good. And now charges, do you have any charges? Um, I do have some charges. Funny enough, the Savage Orcs. Yes. Yeah, so I mean, I... they're frenzied, so you have to restrain otherwise anyway, but they're, they're going in, they love it. And I assume that this unit is going in as well? So this unit's going to go in yep. to those. Uh, the Charret is also going to go in. We'll figure this out in a minute. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I might, I might end up taking, I'm in your front arc. Yes. So I'd probably have to use um, like a corner to corner kind of thing and then okay. get the orcs and the rest. It makes sense. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really tempted actually to put the other orcs in oh, as well and okay. just decimate this unit. That's probably the best bet, I imagine, um, to really punish them um, for sure. Oof. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for that because yeah. they would be in your flank. I, I could wait, reform, wait for these dwarves or charge up towards the dwarves. Yeah. Orcs see dwarfs, <laughs> orcs kill dwarfs. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like this. So another charge there. So with that then, uh, we'll get the distances ready and uh, go for rolling up. Okay, time to roll up our charges. But before we do, the Rune of Fear strikes again. And I'm bigger than these units, so um, it counts. So let's do the um, the pig rider. Yeah, and I'll just see if I'm, I think I'm outside. Yeah, I'm outside of my general's Ooh, leadership bubble. I love that, which is 12 for BSB or a general in the com their command ability nonsense so the chariot eight yet no mm. i do think i do oh. think the chariot mm. is leadership seven ah in which case they ain't going anywhere my friend yeah. which saves us a headache anyway <laughs> well, <laughs> trying to figure out what happens on the corner yeah so it's leadership seven so mm. um it's failed a fear test to a vastly outnumbered or, or to an outnumbered yep. opponent so it will just stay there it, Beautiful. Does, it does not charge um 
Then, so this the, this unit. The big unit? Yeah. And leadership nine. Ooh. They also... Uh, oh, that's big. They also, yeah. That's big. Okay. So, Savage Orcs, I guess, first, right? Otherwise, they'll... Um, I'll do the fear test for the... Oh, sure, yes. So, um, let's do them, leadership nine. They're fine. They do pass. So, this is more annoying than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Only one unit of orcs wants to go in. Yeah. These guys are trembling. It's true. Uh, <laughs> that's why we love fantasy. Yeah. So, um, and then it's just Savage Orcs, and they've got their Here We Go. So, I'm, I'm not sure you can fail this, right? Well, you probably could, um, but with a D3 on top. So, that's right. So, these guys will charge four plus yep. oh. three. So, seven plus D3. Plus D3 for Here We Go. There we go. They're in. They can't fail that. They're right. So we'll get those guys in. We'll get these guys in. Well, that was our fear test. That was the fear test. Oh, sorry. Yes, the fear test. We haven't rolled for them yet. So um, these guys. Me getting excited. So they need, I don't know what they need, but uh, you can roll that a again. Five, a five does it. I needed a yeah. four. So okay, I'll great. Just, I'll just use the five. We'll get them in and uh, those two will stay put. Those Savage will go in. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Coming up. Okay, here we are. Combat is uh, happening over here. Not great for me, but uh, they are heavy infantry. So they don't get disrupted unless it's 10 models or more, which you have. So I am disrupted. But it's just good to know if you have inventory um, that you don't get disrupted by smaller units. So anyway, um, all that done over there. We're now going on to the bolt thrower. Bolt thrower. Yeah. I'm going to try something a little bit different. Uh, so I could target your, your general's unit. Yes, you could. Um, but instead, I'm going to target your cannon. Oh, interesting. OK. Um, so I'm just going to see see what happens. See what happens. Uh, I like it. Uh, so I am at long range, yes. I believe. Let's just double check. I mean, 24 inches is... Uh, yeah. yeah, of course I am. Uh, and I will need five saves. Five. Yeah. Big five. That's a hit. I do hit. Now, I am strength six. And toughness seven. Oh, toughness seven. So I need a five to wound. Yep. And this is multiple wounds too. Wow, okay. That'll do it. I do wound. Blap, blap. There so you go. Two wounds off the cannon. Two wounds off the cannon. Um, I'll just remove two crew members to remind myself because next turn I'm just going to shoot you and blow you to pieces. <laughs> That's actually made me really happy. <laughs> no, I can imagine. <laughs> it's actually done something. It's done something. Good job, guys. Good <laughs> job. Um, so that's all the shooting done. Let's go straight into combat and that will be uh, dealer's choice coming up. Oh, any of that. Many of you have probably commented already. Thank you very much for your um, diligence in these matters. Stand and shoot. And because they're dwarf crafted, I don't get minus one to the... Um, stand and shoot reaction as normal, but I do get minus one for being skirmishes, so it's still fives either way. So fives for this lot, um, which is two so far, and then a uh, four for my champion, and it's a hit, so that's three hits. Ooh. And, oh, that's the end of that then. I got too excited. Okay, you may begin. You may begin the slaughter, my friend, of my thunderers. I'm weapon skill three, uh, weapon skill three, yeah. Weapon skill three to your weapon skill of an orc. So my weapon skill is uh, is three. Nice. Now, I have upgraded uh, a lot. Mine, yeah, quite quite a lot. So these are biggins. Yep. Um, they also have a um, a big stabber, which oh, yes. does D three impact hits. Oh, nice. Okay. So how many impact hits do I get? It's two. I get two. Worth it. Uh, a biggins. Biggin basically gives plus one strength okay, nice. and uh, armor being one. Great. So these two will be at strength four. Okay, great. I'm toughness four. That is one wow. as an armor being. Yep, I have heavy armor. One so. wound. Now, this unit, and I was definitely making up points to, uh, to hit the 500 <laughs> points uh, Minimum core, core. slot. Yep. But these guys have the razor standard, which gives them armor being two. So ah. they actually have armor being three. So straight away, just killed two right there. Off the bat, yeah, uh, just they... killed, killed one because only one's armor being. Uh, but you said it's AP2 anyway, right? I've heavy armor, uh, just no, that's that's didn't that's you say it. your razor standard? No, oh, uh, razor standard is only for the armor being. So, oh, yeah, so this one's at minus three, I understand, and this one's just a normal right armor skin. five up. Nope, dead anyway. I talked him down too soon. Two are slain, um, from the front rank, uh, and then I have how many have I got in there? One, two, three, four, five, six with him, right. Uh, yes, because the you just buy big stabbers for the unit. Yes, um, yes. which is kind of weird because the model is on like a cavalry yeah. type base. But hey, you know but he would he would be in the front next line. Bit, yeah. Um, so that is six. I'll get the get all of the dice and yep. then come back to you. Sounds good. We're back just like that, and we have lots and lots of dice. So we're going to elect to use our choppers. 
um, are hand weapons essentially because chopper rule gives an AP1 and reroll ones to wound, which is nice. Better than thrusting spears because they do nothing when you charge. Let us begin. Excellent. So fours. I'm hitting on fours. A lot of attacks for just a so few orcs. And that's uh, pretty good so far. That's, that's really good. good. So I don't like that at all. Uh, toughness four. Uh, and these are strength four. Yep, because you're big ones. And I will reroll ones. So it's fours to wound, yep. rerolling ones. Okay. And uh, because of the razor standard, any sixes is are armor being minus. Uh, yes, or armor being two. Wow. And they're big ones, which is armor being one. Oof. Uh, so that's uh, just cutting through basically. Anyway. Pretty pretty incredible. Yep. So we're looking for. Fours. Four. So I didn't get any ones, sadly. No. Um, but of course, that's threes. always <laughs> going to be the way, isn't it? That was terrible. Okay, so you've you've got two normal saves and one comes straight through, right? So one's slain because of AP a, a billion, um, apparently. And these are AP one because of choppers. Okay, so sixes. No, so two more. Okay. So I have lost um, f four, five, one, two. Three, four, five. So I've got two normal guys left and the champion. Okay? Yep. Now, um, out of the ones that can step forward, because don't forget everyone, stepping forward is a thing. So I'm looking at fours, but I hate you, because you you're do. an orc, um, which helps. And then uh, fives, unfortunately. No, nothing. Okay, that's not great. So I've lost um, five. I have a standard, which is something. Um, and do you have a standard? I do. Okay. So that's me lost by five. That's not great. That's not great. So minus five to my leadership. I do have leadership nine. I am not near my general, but do, I am... Do you get one for having a rank? Um... Uh, because I'm close order? Uh, yeah, so I think you need five models for a rank. If I killed five, you should get a... A point for, for okay. the rank. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, um, leadership nine. I lost by four then, right? If I get the extra rank. Yep. So, I rolled a total of eight if you add the modifier, which is below my leadership of for nine for my quarrelers. So, I just fall back in good order, mm. which is nice. Interesting. Be yes, because otherwise... I because I've rolled below with the minus four. I've rolled below my leadership. If I rolled um, my around my leadership, rolled a nine, but lost it because of the modifiers, then I would have fallen back in good order. I think you, um, I think you pass regardless. Yes. So you just give ground. Exactly. Two, two, two inches. inches. Yeah. Which is great for me. There you go. Would you like to pursue? One hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> and they're in. Nothing I can do there. The combat continues. Not great for me, but um, let's go on to the big old fight over here. And that's coming up next. Uh, go on. Thanks for a challenge. <laughs> and I would normally accept with my champion because, you know, but... He's not in the fighting rank, is he, DC? Not, no, he's not. No. Which means that my BSB has to take it, which I really don't want him to fight. Your massive black orc with an ogre blade. But I have to because I can't... Look, Great Book of Grudges will not allow me to um, shamefully hide back in the in the, the ranks. That's the actual book, not, not Nathan. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's like, yeah, not Nathan. Yeah, exactly. He, he actually called me and said, you can't do it. Um, okay, so yeah. I have to. Yeah, but we won't swap him around because it makes life easier for us. Yeah. Um, but this guy is calling out my thing. Nothing I can do. I can just hope that you don't roll very well. Is that where we start? Uh, yeah, we'll start in there because um, my Black Orc Warboss is initiative six. Okay. And then plus three for uh, for charging in. So he's initiative nine. Yeah, I'm initiative ten, so I get to go first. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> right, roll your dice. Come on. So four attacks. Yep. He has Furious Charge. So plus one attack um, when, oh. when I charge. Okay, great. Um, so I am weapon skill seven. I'm, I'm six. So. so I am heading on threes. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's atrocious. I like that a lot. That's great. That's terrible. Okay. Um, now, I'm armed with the Ogre Blade, which is plus two strength. Okay. Minus two AP. Okay. Um, armor being magical attacks, but he also has multiple wings. So this should, hopefully, Do fingers the job. crossed, yep. go, go Makes in sense. my favor. Okay. So I am strength seven. I'm toughness five. So twos. Oh, no. However, 
Yeah. The chop. Oh no, the chopper rule will not apply. Not count here because it's an ogre blade. It will not apply yeah. To that. Okay. So, so I've just got one, one save. One save. Uh, I have minus. I have full plate. Two. So six then. Yes. <gasps> yes. <laughs> the dwarves stand proud. Okay. I fight back. I'm just ripping through the flag. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Three attacks. Um, I'm weapon skill six. Do you weapon skill seven? So. I am. Fours. Fours. I hate you, because you're an orc. You do. Oh, that's two. That's two, my friend. That's two. Now, I am only strength four on this. And your toughness? I am toughness five. Yeah, so five's here. That's a six. I like that. No, uh, armor bin? Grommel weapon is... Ooh. Is that a reroll one? Uh, let me quickly check. While we're here, live on camera, um, I'll try and pan to you at the same time while I'm looking back. I frantically Whoops. look for rules that exactly. mean I actually done some damage. <laughs> um, I'm looking and Grommel weapons. Uh, no, I just gave you one. There's no, it's dwarf, it's Grommel armor. I can reroll ones. Okay. Um, so it's one wound, AP one. Okay. So I have a five plus save. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, full plate armor is four plus minus one, five plus. Oh. Yeah, I, I do get it. We, we don't do anything to each other. But still, I love that. I love that because you had all those buffs, all those bonuses for nothing. It just falls apart. <laughs> the back and all the dice are um, quite literally lovely spread out, ready to go. Furious charge on the Black Hawks as well, which is pretty cool. AP1 on their weapons as well. And you can reroll ones, did you say? I can reroll ones to wound. Nice. Yeah. So four orcs are in. Yep. Four attacks. Yep. Furious charge plus one attack. Nice. And they have two hand weapons. Oh. Plus one attack. And then obviously the champion's attack. Yep. Um, so now, much. the chopper rule is um, when you charge, you will um, have like a AP1. Okay. So, um, and you get to reroll ones to win. That's great. So, so I am weapon skill four, and I'm assuming same. That you're the same. Same, same. Fours to hit. And that's not a great roll. Oh, I like that. Let me take all these away for you. You give me take all, all these of these away. at the very start yeah. of the game, and I'm saying why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're green for orcs, come on. Yeah. Um, strength? I am strength four. I am toughness four. So tough orcs. Four is to wound. Tough dwarves. Uh, Rerolling ones, which I don't get any of. No, so three wounds. So three wounds, and that is three wounds at 81. Heavy armor shield, because um, they have heavy armor shields. So um, I'm looking for fives here then, instead of fours. Oh, save two, so I've lost a dwarf. This has not gone my way. Yes, so I've got one, two, three dwarves left. To fight. Um, there's an interesting question. Can I bring my uh, rune lord now across? Uh, my rune smith. Yeah, so you make, you're, make you're, way, right? Because you can make way with characters to get into the front fighting rank. You can. Um, not sure what order that goes in because I guess my thane, he could have chosen depending on what it comes in. Um, so in which case, we're going to leave it. I'll leave it this round because that might be a different sequence. You can't just pick and choose. So I'll leave it for now. Anyway, three attacks going in. Hitting on fours, but now I need fives, though I need fives, so uh, one. One wound, please um, fail it. <laughs> so full plate armor, four plus save. Oh. No, I do fail. Wow, do. okay. So, we've, um, yeah, we've, we've actually, uh, combat wise, it's almost a wash because uh, I get plus one with my banner. Um, but you get a flank charge, which I believe is two. Let's quickly check that to make sure it's the right number. I think it's, I think it's one. I think rear is two. Oh, my, rear might be two. Flank is one, but we will tot up the combat resolution yeah. and then explain it. Cool. Okay, worked it out. Sometimes with the camera in your hand and the piercing eyes of the audience on you, um, <laughs> it makes it a little bit easier. So um, you've got the flank. I disrupt, I'm disrupted, um, but I have a BSB. It worked out that uh, we killed one each. Obviously, your rank's on top of that. I lost by two in total. So my leadership nine goes down to leadership seven. So I need to roll um, basically a seven or less and we're good. Eight or nine is when I uh, would fall back in good order. Otherwise, I would first one I do is give ground, fall back in good order, or if I really botch it, then I'm running. But I do have a reroll thanks to my BSB. So, which in this case- Which you need. I need, thank you for the BSB, he didn't die. Uh, we're good, it's actually seven, exactly what I needed. So we just give ground. Um, where we move back two inches. It's going to be slightly awkward because of the terrain. 
Whoop. There we go. Two inches, job done. Would you like to pursue or are you happy where you are? Hmm. I don't think I can I don't think I can reform in any fashion. Check. Do we'll check that, but yeah, if not. If um, I can't reform in any way, I'm I'm going to continue uh, getting in stuck straight, in. straight into you, them. Yep. You may if you restrain. So roll two dice anyway, just to see if you do a restraint, because there's probably leadership test involved in that. Of which, oh, which that, I can't, so I'd be going in anyway. So you'd be going in anyway. <laughs> so regardless, it's made a decision for him, but we will check that for you. Um, they'll carry on fighting, um, which is good in a way, because you can carry on the pressure. Um, and that's next combat over here. I will make way with my demon man, the demon slayer of demons, because he wants to fight you in the face. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Here we are. Oh, I'm excited. Um, we've made way with the BSB here from the orcs. Uh, very cool BSB. I love his eye patch. So he's going first, actually. Initiative uh, much higher than ours at the moment. Yeah, he's he's initiative five. Yep. So uh, all your guys, all your slayers will get plus one initiative because they made that inch charge. Yeah, that's true. Run, that's true. To my understanding. But yep. uh, yeah, initiative five will, will go out. I'm going to hit your demon slayer. Yeah, it's the only one you um, can hit, right? So let's do this. So I'm weapon skill six. Seven. Your weapon skill seven. So I'm hitting on fours. Uh, oh, yeah, fours. I'm going to say five for a second there. And I don't hit. Oh, that's all. That's going to hurt. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, now my troll slayers. Okay, so my troll slayers being uh, weapon skill, I was going to say seven for a second there. I believe the weapon skill four. So um, I'm hitting on threes. So your weapon skill three, right? Yeah. I'm on skill four. So oh, four. fours. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I hate you. Okay. And then I'm always wounding on a four plus because I'm a slayer. Uh, one wound. One wound. Is there any AP? No AP on this. Yeah, they haven't got oh. Bromwell weapons. They just have. Just, I guess, whatever they have lying around. Okay, yeah. perfect. So, so, full plate armor? Full plate armor. Oh. That is a save. Okay, now comes my big guy. He's got four attacks hitting on twos. Uh, all hit. He's wounding on twos because he's Oh, he's, he's hitting on threes, actually. Because he's weapon skill seven, I'm weapon skill four, and it has to be one pick. Ah, uh, okay. Or... So, I had one two there. Uh, no, so one missed. So the reroll for that. Um, so, then, and now twos to wound. Okay, so that's all goes through. No armor veins, but it is all AP2. So you've got six up saves here. So six ups for three black orcs. And that's um, ooh, one save, one. so two sling. Um, so it would be... Uh, Let's take two of these out. Yep, so you have two left to fight. Two. So I'll pick the, the champion. Yep. Um, he doesn't get, he doesn't get, yep. he does. So that is three attacks. Beautiful. Three attacks going in. So it hits on, I should have declared, but it doesn't really matter. I'll just go after the normal Slayer. Yeah, that makes it's sense. Only, it's only one hit anyway. One hit. And they are armed with grey weapons, so they are strength six. Nice. And just that is one, one Slayer down. Okay, so in terms of combat res, I killed two, and I have a banner. You... And you have a rank. And I have a rank. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm open order, so I don't get any close order bonuses. Correct. Formation, but you have uh, killed one. You have a banner. You have a BSB. You have a rank, and you have um, the close close order formation. Yeah, I think I uh, maybe if ranks are the same and they are uh, at the start at the start of combat, I would have another rank because heavy infantry edition? only require yes. uh, four, four wide. Regardless. Whether I win by one, whether I win by two, it doesn't, doesn't matter. really matter. I'm unbreakable, so I just give ground two inches, like so, and then you get to choose what you wish to do. So I'm going to stay where I'm at. Okay, uh, that might be a restraint again. Do you know what? I'll, t I'll take the test anyway. Yep. I, I can't we didn't check earlier. Really. Yeah. I went straight into it. You're fine either way. Um, so yeah, we'll quickly check that, but I think you have to take a restraint test um, to not just like rush ahead. Uh, yeah, and then that's the end of the... That's the end of your turn. Not too bad. Uh, not as effective, perhaps, as you wanted it to go. Oh, was this? Uh, yeah, that's right. Actually, this yeah. was my turn. So I'm just going to go straight. I'm, why would I? I yeah, I don't know either. In? But hey, yeah. <laughs> in he goes. I was going to shoot you. Otherwise, I was. I was loving that. Um, so that's that. We'll carry on fighting. We'll carry on moving. I got into my turn four now. Um, ooh, it's exciting. After a little bit of consideration, the war boss that is Chris has decided actually. Restrain, all good, um, and not go ahead, because it's better the devil you know. It is. It actually, if I follow up, yeah. I go into charge range of his general's unit. Yeah, 
It's true. So by restraining and holding my position, um, I'm out of charge range for his general's unit. Yep. Yes, I will probably get charged by the slayers or yep. shot, but um, it keeps his general's unit there. So I think... Uh, that's true, exactly, because it's out of charge range for my general. Um, so that's when it comes to my turn now. It's just going to be a movement summary because the only thing is going to be these guys moving, marching forwards. So uh, you don't need a nice cinematic for that. Um, I'll charge these going in. Yeah. Can't fail with a three. Um, plus my movement. So sorry, two plus my movement of three. Um, that's what I meant. So we go in. Well, we'll maximize a little bit. Yeah. Do all that kind of jazz. And then we'll get to fight, uh, get to shooting, where basically I'm going to try and use this stuff to pop this guy. Uh, maybe see if I can shoot some of these guys in the flank, if I can see them, etc. And um, yeah, it's going to be exciting. Fun times for the dwarves. The skull marker of death is down. The cannon is primed. Let's try and take out this bad boy. Let's fire. No, it's a oh. six. Oh, that might get him, you know. So it it will it will hit. Boom. So it doesn't really matter. No. Nope. It, it rolls through you. There you go. Now, strength eight. So twos here. Uh, yep, yeah, toughness five. Yes, got it. Two wound. Uh, D3. D3 wounds. Two. Two. Two wounds. It's got one left, two left. It has got one wound left. It's ah. got three wounds. Damn. Three. So close. So close. I might have to put my organ gun in there um, to finish it off because it's points mean prizes. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to shoot my organ gun in his face. <laughs> so a uh, number of shots is four. Oh, okay. come That's on. Respectful. Yes, plus six. That's what you want. Happiness all around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shots. It's long range, so I'm looking for fives here. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five hits. Oh, that's pretty good. That's very Chances good. Chances are you're going to get this. Strength five. Toughness five. Fours. Oh, <laughs> thank goodness. Just enough with, it, with armor being on all that jazz on top. That is, wait, wait, wait. There you go. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Another flammable war machine. If, if you don't get the reference, watch the 6th edition battle report. Because <laughs> just... Spontaneous combustions yeah, everywhere. everywhere. Exactly. Um, don't know why this war boss insists on all of his war machines being flammable, but here we are. So that is that gone. Excellent. Points mean prizes for me. And lastly, I've got uh, two, four, six, eight of my quarrelers that can all get a bead on over here without any intervening models, etc. So first, one of my sniper, that is the cat champion, he hits, and then we have fives. Oh, oh my god, Come in, boys. Get in. Right. Strength four. So four's here, but we want them sweet sixes. No. But two wounds. Okay. Two wounds done. Nah, no AP. No AP. So, uh, full plate armor on chin. Yes. Oh, Two saves. You're good at your saves today. You're good at your saves. Yeah, I just Attacks, can't, can't yeah. hit with my rubber choppers. <laughs> Pool noodles. So, um, that's all my shooting done. I'm quite happy with that overall, though. Popped the um, bolt thrower. So now, um, I, I mentioned that I moved, right? I marched six inches here. Nothing else done, because there was no point in showing you uh, all that jazz. So I just marched forward for a next charge turn, or you know, if I can get close enough to the rear here, if these guys can hold the line. Um, so with that, let's get into combat coming up next. Combat, combat. And we're starting off with, of course, the Black Orcs here uh, fighting with uh, my beautiful Dwarf Slayers. Well, not mine. Mark's beautiful Dwarf Slayers. Thanks, Mark. We've got uh, one, two, three, four of them fighting. But first of all, the BSB will fight first because he's a quick, quick guy. Um, and then my guys will go after that. So three attacks from the Black Orc Big Boss. Yep. He's weapon skill six. Hit on so threes. threes. Nice. Or hit. This is what you want. This is better. This yeah. is better. And he is strength four, so fours yeah. to kill. Just oh, the one. One. Okay. So next up is my troll slayers, and I now got one stepping forward. I've only got um, three going first. So that is that many attacks, six attacks. And then we are looking at fours into your unit. But we hate you, and it's a new round of combat yeah. because, of the, because of the charge. That's right, yeah. Forgot about that, didn't you? I did forget about that. Oh, yeah. look at that. Brutal. I think it was still the right recall, though, because my, my lord and everyone else would be piling in. Yeah. Um, so now, uh, I am strength. I think it's fours anyway, obviously, but I, I am just checking. I'm showing three here. So it is fours regardless, because I'm a slayer. Uh, oh, oh, my oh, my God. <laughs> um, but this is just your normal armor saves. That's five. No, no armor being on them. 
Yeah, no, nothing. No, they just have they just have hand weapons, and they're not um, they don't have the Grommel special rule. So they, uh, yeah, they just have just hand weapons. Okay. So um, my full plate armor saves then five of them, uh, four up. I uh, save three. That's good. Two definitely go down. Two definitely go down. Yeah. And then we've got um, my guy because he gets plus two initiative here because my plus two inch uh, charge forward. So he's on initiative three. So he goes before the black orcs. He is striking at twos. And he re-rolls, but he doesn't need to. Oh, didn't you say threes? Yes, threes. Threes, yeah. I always think twos. There you go. So, uh, all hit. And twos to wound, because I'm showing six. Oh, all but one. So, three go through. AP two, and one is armor bane on top of that. So, one goes straight through, I believe. Okay. And then you've got two at sixes. So, two at sixes? No, so it's another four. three go down. Brutal. So, no more fighting back for you. That's the front rank gone. It's just a BSB could strike. Um, let's do some combat res. Now, do I get do I get my champion on this occasion? Uh, good question. Um, now we need to now we need to find out to be yeah, sure, don't we? Yeah, I think so. Get the big book. We just check champion is casualties, um, which is page I think one nine nine. If you want to check it up, um, they get to carry on basically. They don't get rude as casualties at the end, so you still get to fight with your champion, which is right. nice. So um, so four is to hit for the champion. Oh, who loves That's it. Important. And he is strength uh, six because he's got a great weapon. Yeah, so that is one. Of oh, course. Of course, always the same. So that's there. So um, I killed combat res. I killed five. I have a banner. And uh, I don't have a rank anymore. I had a rank. Um, but they are not heavy infantry. They're light infantry, which means I need five for a rank, not four. So um, that is right, isn't it? Let me quickly have a look. Regular infantry, exactly. So. Um, I win by that much. And then you, my friend, killed two. You have a BSB and you have a banner. And I have um, close... Um, and close order. Close order. Close order bonus result. So you lose by one, which is not as bad. Not as bad. Would you like to roll some dice? I will, yes. Uh, so my... <laughs> yes. Black, right. My Black Ogre Big Boss is leadership eight. Nice. So, um, uh, so you're fine. So they're good. You just fall back. Oh, sorry, I say it every time. Sorry, you just give ground. You just give ground by two. By two. And I will pursue. Because it's your turn next. It is. So why not? I'm going to carry on fighting you. Um, okay. Now, what we're going to do, we'll do this off, cam off, off camera, but we'll show you the, the challenge. We'll carry on with the war boss and the thing, see if he slaughters him. That'll be out of sequence, but don't worry about it. It all adds up in wash in the end anyway. So we'll do that. We'll show that on camera and we'll do the rest of the results. I've moved up with my uh, runesmith because I didn't know what order that goes in. So, you know, comment below, let me know. I, I, so it's a big old book to go through right now and it's late. <laughs> um, it is. But, uh, yeah, let me know. But we're, I'll put him up there. It's just fun times now. Fighting. And then we'll do this one as well and just show you what's going on. Catch you back in a second. The challenge amongst the ruins. You can imagine all the carnage going on around here. Love it. Quick summary, um, basically he killed one because he rolled terribly. I killed none because my dwarves haven't got many, you know, fighting. Um, and my, my runesmith did nothing as well. So it's just down to the challenge, which we said we would do on camera. Um, so you get to go first, sir. Good. So my weapon skill is seven. So yes. I'm hitting on threes. Okay. So Two hits. Two hits. Better than last time. I, uh, it is better. Um, I'm strength seven. I get one. One. Okay. So this is at minus two, um, and it has, I, I think it has armor being as well. Ah, it might go straight through then. So, because I've got full plate armor with my thing, um, but that's a four up. I'll roll anyway, in case I get a six. Now we have to check. <laughs> Alas, it does have armor being, despite my heroic save, or his heroic save. Um, so it's D3 wounds. Yes, it's an, an ogre blade. Uh, it's multiple wounds D3. So, oh, the BSB is slain, cast down upon the ruins. Uh, victory for that orc war boss there. Um, we'll work out that combat res in a moment. Uh, and over here, um, he slay four. He slayeth four of my thunderers. Um, and I did a really good fight back, but uh, nothing actually transpired with the. Uh, actually, no, I did two wounds. And, two wounds. and you did two war paint saves of six up. Yeah. Which, and we said, it's always the way. When you do like some, like, uh, you know, not, not big combat, out of the way, kind of just 
you don't want to slow the game down for people um, with like talking all the time like I do. Um, <laughs> uh, he goes and rolls double sixes. Anyway, so I need to roll here. Um, and that is running and my BSB is dead. So I'm just full pelting out of there. I get minus one to this um, because I am running, running. So that's a seven becomes a six. No because worries. of my resident. I, I, I believe I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, yep. Just uh, yeah, yeah, because I'm choose. frenzied, I, I'll have to. Yeah. Um, and I go eat. Run them down. That's the Thunderer's gone. That flank is in trouble. We'll move them up. We'll sort this combat res out and catch you back in a second. It's not looking good for these guys with that flank charge from the Orcs and the loss of the BSB, the Great Thane. Um, that was, yeah, look at him cheering away there. Um, his name was Thane Groovybeard and... You have now added yourself to the Great Book of Grudges, my friend. Um, so, there's a nice little idea, actually, for handy, because um, it is a bit confusing sometimes when you do the new uh, working out. You do the, get some dice, put the, um, the maximum that you, if you roll over that, you're going to flee. And then you do the minimum which in, in combat resolution, which is going to be three in this case. And then in the middle, if you roll, then you're going to just um, fall back in good order. So it's just a nice little, like, tester to go in between. So there you go, that's a four. So I would just fall back in good order um, because I've gone over, uh, under my leadership, but not over the uh, modified, uh, sorry, not under the modified of the uh, leadership after the combat reverse. So D6, fall back, one, brilliant. So I don't even know how I'm gonna shuffle here, I guess, because I'm stuck against here. We'll have to <laughs> check that in a second. And then that is the end of my turn. So we go into your turn, uh, four, and I imagine that I'm gonna get in some trouble over this side with these orcs piling in. Um, and I've got these guys on my flank, which is never fun either. So this is a summary for the orcs in terms of everything they're doing. Um, look, we looked into this. First of all, um, thanks for the comment, because I've already commented before I, uh, this clip comes in. But uh, it's 2d6. I always, for some reason, my brain is cooked in that you just roll 1d6 for the um, orderly uh, fallback in good order. Don't know why, it is 2d6. Um, so we tried to sort it off camera, I rolled two. Um, and essentially, I can't move past this impassable tree. You have to go around it. We class these as impassable um, whenever we play because it's just a nightmare otherwise to kind of navigate through them, um, which means that if that's impassable, then I can't go back here for two inches. I can't break this way because I'm moving far beyond two inches. The closest thing we can find to resolve the situation is the surrounded rule, which is that if I can't move out, um, then I just have to stay in combat, which is what we're going to rule it as. Comment below if you feel different. Um, happy to have a conversation about it. Maybe there is some special thing that we've missed, but who knows? Anyway, let's do that. Um, we're going to charge in here. Can't fail. We're going to charge in here. Can't fail. Um, so, and there's no, no test to do. So we'll get those two stuck in combat and then we'll get right to fighting, right? Uh, yeah, we'll have a little look. I, I mean, I don't have, don't have my boat show anymore. <laughs> yeah, we'll do the rest of the movement and, uh, there's no shooting. So yeah, yeah. straight to combat. Nice. So here we are at combat time, and we've got the, of course, crazed berserkers of the Savage Orcs. Lots of attacks going in. Yep. So we're going to start off with D3 impact hits. Lovely. That's yep. the big three. So that is the big three. Um, so these three impact hits will be done at strength four. I'm toughness four. Four is to win. No. Uh, okay. No. That's Triple the end three. of that. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, and then the, what is a bucket load of attacks? I know. It's ridiculous. So this is from four... Um, the Four Savage, Savage Orcs. Orcs are probably MVP. Yeah. Ginger Steve, you're a happy man. Frenzy. Yeah. And uh, charged over three inches, so furious charge. And nice. then one for the champion. It's a beautiful thing. Um, so, weapon skill three to yep. your weapon skill four, so I'm hitting on fours. Hitting on fours. Not a great. Uh, still enough to put the work in. Um, so, that's a whole bunch of attacks. And toughness four. So fours now. And I am sorry, Anna, and just to be clear, I'm using yep. my choppers yes. uh, just to get the, the chopper rule. Yeah, which makes yeah. more sense. So um, this means I can reroll wind rolls of a one. Okay. And strength four. So fours rerolling ones. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I did not expect that. Um, th three attacks back. Uh, weapon skill three to your weapon skill three. Uh, so correct. Fours. I hate you because I'm a because you're a uh, you know. Um, and then uh, fives, I guess. Uh, nothing, because your toughness four and strength three. So uh, you win by one in terms of combat, because you have a, a, a banner. I do. So I stick around. Well, I uh, wasn't, oh. wasn't expecting that. Yes, I, uh, yes, I stick around, because it's only minus one. I'm leadership very high. Um, I, move, I, I need to check out how that works with war machines, with them fleeing or giving ground or 
anything like that. And then we'll crack on with this combat over here. Maybe we'll do some of this off, off camera because it's going to be huge. So this combat is completed with the um, Black Orcs on the flank and everything else. It was long and messy, um, but it resulted in basically three casualties per side, which is quite nice. Um, and a lot of um, fluffing the rolls from you, which was, you know, classic Chris. Yep. Makes me feel good about my rolls. Um, but it ended up being that I lost by four. So again, we've got the leadership nine, and, and then I need a five or less um, for the give ground option. And then otherwise, uh, if I don't open, if I don't flee completely, or if I just fall back and do a rubbish um, fall back in good order, then I'll probably end up stuck there fighting. Um, so anyway, let's see how we roll. Uh, oh, five. We just give ground. But um, in that case, what you can do in this scenario, I think, is that because I give ground, it says in the rules that you kind of pop at an angle if you can't give ground back and stay in combat uh, because you're stuck in combat here. So I'll pop out like that and I'll kind of be at this kind of angle, which, um, yeah, kind of makes sense. I like that. We'll do that. And then um, we'll get in fighting over here. Um, and we'll do this on camera. So then we're looking up the follow-up rule. <laughs> you can carry on. So we're just going to connect them in battle and keep them fighting um, because that's what we all want. Um, but again, comment below if you feel that it should be different, all that kind of stuff. It's a bit different with the impassable terrain in the corner. Um, but hey, we like combat, right? So yeah. keep on fighting. Um, or, um, I was going to say, orcs, dwarves are tough. They it's don't, they it's don't. The, high, the high leadership is yeah, incredible. They're great. so hard to shift. Yeah, which I like. Um, you, Big you know, look, look how many orcs are, are around Surrounding them. them. That's how dwarves love it, though. Yeah. That's how we love it. Now, let's get into uh, fighting over here. Start off with your um, BSB, the war boss. Yeah, so three attacks of weapon skill six. Cool. So just hitting the normal, um, yeah. normal slayers. Uh, so two hits. Okay. And he is strength four, so four is to wound. And that is. So just the one. Just the one, okay. Which means I've got six attacks with my slayers. I so I'm, I'm a initiative three. What, what initiative? Oh, okay. Um, I thought you had great weapons. Oh, correction. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right. I, I do. So I'm initiative one. <laughs> yeah. So uh, six attacks hitting on fours. Uh, there's no rerolls anymore because we're just carrying on in combat. And then fours. So that's two wounds, please, sir. Two wounds. Yep. Uh, so full plate armor, four plus. Oh, nice. You and his saves. Unbelievable. And then um, I guess we go at the same time now um, on your great weapons and my great weapon. Because uh, there's yeah. no charging extras. So um, I'm also just quickly roll mine. I'm hitting on, you said threes, right? With a reroll. I reroll ones because of my grudge. Um, room, which is nice. There you go. We'll hit. And then twos. Okay, so that's three with one armor bane on top. So AP2 normally, then armor bane for AP3. Okay. So, um, so one will just one will just uh, die yep. to the armor bane. The other one, two sixes. No, two more. But they will get to fight. Yes. Because they are the same initiative step as me, initiative one. Okay. Um, well, at least one of them will in the front rank. So he'll so, get to fight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So five attacks. However, one of those needs to hit your demon slayer. Okay. Um, so four attacks against the the unit. Yep. Uh, it's on fours. Two hits. Lovely. Two hits, and these are strength uh, six. So twos, of course. Okay. One splatted. Okay. And then against uh, weapon skill seven here. Weapon skill seven. So I'm weapon skill four. So I'm not um, double. Nope. Plus one. Or you're not double plus one. So uh, it is fours to hit. Nice. That's a hit. And I am strength six, you are toughness I think five, I think. Maybe, five, maybe yeah. even six. I think you're right. Maybe even six. It's toughness five. So threes to wound, and that is one wound. Nice. Nothing I can do about that. A wound is done onto my demon slayer, leaving him with, I believe, two wounds remaining. Because, yeah, he a beast. He a beast with three wounds. So um, combat is a tie, unless you have a musician. Because um, we, I, oh no, I killed, yes, I killed three. You killed two, uh, no, with a wound, but you have an extra BSB, so I lose by one. Yes, so but I, you are unbreakable. Yeah, so I just go like that, two inches. Even unbreakable units have to give ground. So uh, do you want to follow up, or are you happy to stay there? Uh, let's see, it is uh, your turn next, Yes, isn't it? So I will follow up. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, my turn five next. Not much more I can do. We've got combat over here. Obviously, I've given ground on, so next turn, they're probably going to get chopped to pieces. Um, I try and cannon this chariot in the face, and then my quarrelers will perhaps shoot that chariot as well um, if they've got some range, etc. 
and I don't know what else to do other than maybe push these guys up, but then it'd be my last turn. So mm, it's interesting, maybe counting some points. So a summary for the end of the movement phase for the dwarves and the king's guard have pushed forward, marched at six. I'm still out of charge ranging for my last turn. Um, so maybe if um, the orcs spin around after beating these uh, and then maybe we'll get a charge off on their turn, we could see something, but probably not. Um, they haven't even gone combat, all them points, all that power, yeah. Toughness 10, I know, but the Slayers have been doing all the work, so I can't argue with that. So anyway, um, uh, because of that, though, I realized I have blocked off line of sight for a couple of my Quarrelers. I've only got about four that can see, but um, it is what it is. So, uh, one hit, and no wounds. Okay, nothing in there, but as you can see, the dice is already there, because dun, 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 it's cannon time. <gasps> Boop. That's a four. Ooh. Ooh. Right, as long as I don't get a cheeky... Uh, oh, oh yeah, straight, straight through. through, straight through. Bang, strength eight, strength eight. Toughness of uh, Chora is five. Ooh. There you go. That's a wound. So it's a wound. Uh, I won't get an armor save off this because I'm assuming it's minus three, is it? Oh, it's AP two. Oh, it's AP two with armor bane, which I didn't get. So you oh, okay. Do you so, have a six up. So I will have a six up too. Six up on the chariot. Okay. No, no. And then it's D three. It's just a one. Just the one wound. Boo! Uh, and there's no more, um, as far as I could tell, from the previous game I played, High Elves vs. Beastmen, if you haven't seen it, it's probably on the, it is on the channel. Um, but there's no, in the previous editions of like six and stuff, it's like automate, or automatically break chariots if they're like strength seven or more. That's right. Can't find anything in that rule book that says that. So it's just wounds done, which is fine, you know. Yeah. Um, so wound done onto that um, old boar, um, the big old boar pig. And let's go on to some combat then, it's because we've got combat here, and then we've got combat over here, and then we've got combat over here. Combat, 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 here we go. And we've got, uh, we're gonna do this on camera, because you can see the carnage of big big squads going into each other, big regiments, I should say. I've got to get the word squad out of my vocabulary, because it's very 40K. Um, yeah. For years of playing it, it's just kind of ingrained. Now, um, let's start off with you, because you have the higher initiative in all these cases. Yeah. Um, where do you want to begin? Uh, so we're going to start with the uh, Black Orc War Boss. Okay. Um, who's in at the flank? So he has four attacks. Four attacks. Uh, hitting on threes. Nice. And he is strength seven. Finally done some some work, this guy. Yeah. Uh, two. There's a one, which is quite yep. typical. Uh, however, that's two wounds at minus two. So six is here because I have shield and heavy armor for four up. Hey, save one. So this is how I mean the dwarves just don't drop. Just one dwarf from him. And then we've got uh, one, two, three, four black orcs going in. Yeah, so what, what I'll probably do here is uh, I'll do the shaman first. Actually. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll, I'll do step. So two attacks, um, hits on fours. Lovely. That's what you want to see. And strength four, so wounds on fours. Oh. Yep. So he hits a couple of times, but he fails to win. They're tough. They're tough, the dwarves. Next up. Uh, so we'll do, we can do all the black orcs at the same time. Sure. Because it's all the same statistics. Yep. Um, but one black orc will hit into your... Uh, runesmith, yes. Yeah. Weapon skill five on him. Let's go five. So I'm weapon skill four, so I'm oh, yeah. hitting on fours. Fours. Uh, it's just a one hit. Yep. And I am strength four, so fours to wound. That is one wound with Ooh. no negative modifier. Uh, he has just heavy armor. Oh, takes a wound. Down to one wound remaining on him. Nasty, nasty. And then I'll wrap up all of the remainder of the black orcs with two hand weapons yep. and with uh, normal choppers. Okay. So hitting on fours. Yep. Uh, that's that's a pretty good roll. That's a great roll. Um, and strength four. Yep. Toughness four. Four to wound. That is four, five wounds. So five wounds with no AP. Five wounds, no AP. We have. Um, Heavy armor shield, which is a four-up save? Uh, yeah, that's right. So one. <laughs> oh my god. One. Okay. So um, I fight back. What we'll do is drop one from each flank, because we're all throwing them all together. So we lost one here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. I'll throw six attacks forward. Hitting on fours. Um, there's no hatred stuff anymore, which is a shame. And then um, strength three, though, so fives. Oh, two wounds. Two wounds. So three plus armor save. Yep. Uh, both ah, saves. Your saves are just yeah. disgusting. Uh, and we've got one, two, three uh, there, but one of them's died, so only two left, because that one front fought forward at the front. So he would uh, get one hit and uh, no wound. 
And then if I'm last to fight with my runesmith, my great weapon? Yes. Cool. Okay, hitting into the orcs, hitting on threes. Um, that is a hit, two hits, and uh, great weapons. So twos, strength six, uh, one wound. So I always get the one. So this is minus two? Yes, for the great weapon. Uh, and this into the side. You should have like a big rune stick. Big stick of rune. <laughs> Into the side, yeah. His, his, his walking stick. Exactly. Uh, yeah, so uh, they've just got full plate armor because they've got two choppers. Yep. So six up save. Oh, he oh, loves it. Um, right. And now I just have my... Oh, yes, your guy. Great weapon wielding Black Orc Big Boss. I do like him. Yeah, so hits on threes. Uh, okay. Okay, not great. <laughs> and uh, strength six. And he doesn't reroll ones, right? He does not reroll okay, ones. Okay, just checking. Um, strength yeah. six, armor bane though, goes straight through because of the great weapon. So, that's the end of combat res. Uh, no, you actually get a, a six up save. So he's just got a great weapon, which is minus two AP. There's no... Um... Armor bane on Oh, yeah, 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 right, you're right. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. Hey, it's late at night, buddy, it's okay. Um, so we've got three wounds done. I've done no wounds back. You have the banner with the war banner, which is the one you'll select, right? Which is the other unit, yeah. which has also got two uh, ranks that you can claim bonus, and is you have the um, close combat, uh, the close order formation, yeah. and you have, of course, uh, flank. a flank. One more dice on there, please. There um, troubling for me. I have no ranks. I have a banner. Um, actually, you've done four wounds because <laughs> of that wound from the runesmith. I missed him. Yes. So I lose by three, six, nine. So I cannot... Um, you cannot give ground. Yes. You will either fall back in good order unless, or you will flee. Yes, unless double ones are insane bravery, which I don't believe so, but I need to check the rules. If I roll double one, which I don't. And I have no BSB anymore, so I am properly fleeing. You are. And I'm the reason you're properly fleeing is uh, because if you fall back in good order and you are outnumbered yes. by more than double, yes. you then flee. Exactly, yeah. which is what I'm doing. Uh, and I get minus one to this. Because I have resolute, so I am. Uh, I'm going. Uh, Ten becomes nine. Would you like to try and pursue me? Yes, I, I'm. Okay. I'm going to try and pursue you with with both. Yeah. I know that's that decision's usually made before you, you roll your dice, but it oh, makes yeah, sense. Okay. I'll, I'll stay away from your big, your big unit. So. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so, so I need to to hit a nine. Yeah. Um, six, seven, eight. Seven, oh. Eight. And this unit is six. six. Okay. We'll sort all this out in a second, and then we'll carry on with this final combat over here. Oh, and this one over here, coming up. We'll do this one off camera quickly, because I mean, yeah, it's just what it is. So here is the aftermath after all of the fleeing has done, even with my minus one, and the orcs in pursuit behind me. Um, kind of, that's kind of sort of resolved itself now. Over here, we butchered those, um, those gunners, as it should have been in the first round. Chris got really unlucky. So they're gone. Um, but because it was a subsequent round of combat, there's no overrunning or anything. They're just kind of standing there, ready for your next turn. Probably just charge cannon and do your thing. But I will get one more shot off to try and kill the chariot, which is something. Um, and then over here, we're going to carry on combat. So you get to fight first with your BSB. I do. So three attacks from BSB, just heading into the unit. Yep. Um, that is two hits. Nice. And he is strength four. So Toughness four. Four to wound. One wound, one dead. He is consistent. He is consistent. There you go. Take him off. Um, so I've got six attacks as usual after you keep killing one. Um, hitting on fours. And then wounding on fours because we're slayers for three wounds. That was a four over there. So four up save. Oh, two of them. Two die. Brilliant. So you've got basically the standard dies, right? And then the champ gets left. Yeah. So just the champ and the BSB left, but oh, it's all falling apart for the orcs now. Um, we get to fight at the same time with the the uh, champ. So do you want to do your champ? Yeah, I'll do. I'll do my champ. Do your champ. Um, and you know what? Well, death or glory here. I'll I'll go into. Oh, I like the, it. I like that. I'll go into the demon slayer. Now, there's one one rule I think actually we probably missed out for the slayers. Uh huh. And that's the death blow. Oh, we did. Sorry, we did draw the death blow. So we, we apologize. Yes, um, I just, I yeah, as you said it, I was like, oh, it's it's um, honestly, it's, it's rules overload. Uh, just, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So um, we're just as we get used to it, bit by bit, slapping the wrist, slapping the wrist. Uh, so my champion 
just hits once okay. against your demon slayer, and he is strength six. Uh, strength Toughness six. Five. Yes. No, that's not a wound. Okay, fight back, and um, we we roll ones because of the grudge room, and then we're looking for twos. Um, so three wounds. Three wounds. Yep. And well, I guess this is on the on the unit here, yep. but um, uh, he is dead. dead. So the BSB stands alone. Valiantly stands <laughs> stands alone. Okay. Now, combat resolution. Yes. Banner for banner. That's what we have left. I killed. You killed four. Four. Um, you killed one. So you lose by five. I lose by five. But now, you massively outnumber me. I do. So my leadership is down to three right now. Yes. So I need to roll a, a two or a three uh, to, to to give ground. ground. Anything other than that is me fleeing. Yes. Um, so I will flee. I you get flee to, do you get to re-roll the BSB? I do, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Encouraged by his own? No, uh, no, but you're running. So he is fleeing. Now, can your little legs catch me? Oh, uh, no, we cannot. Um, with a five, thanks to my minus one for my pursuing, and your ten, um, we head off in that direction. Um, <laughs> what did you get? A three? Five. Uh, I got a five in total with, my, in, yeah, with my minus one. Um, so, yeah, that goes into end of um, your turn, right? So now we're going to my last turn, essentially. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. The closing moments of this battle, it's just been absolute carnage, to be fair, um, which is always a good sign for a game. Um, <laughs> my brain is, is melty. Yeah. I know. It's a lot of rules. It's a lot of rules. There's a lot going on. But anyway, look, um, they're going to have some charges being declared here. Before that, in the strategy phase, we need to first do spells and whatnot. We need to rally this guy um, because he may, um, you know, continue running or he may uh, be happy to turn around and um, stand, stand his ground which is important for points at the end of the game um, so let's do some casting yeah so um, I'm gonna cast here we go this is an enchantment yep this just adds d3 to the charge range all I want to do here is make sure that when I declare a charge against both of these uh, or, or against your dwarf warriors that actually one unit of mine can definitely cast. yes that yeah, makes sense so um, so yeah I'm gonna risk my wizard for yep. the extra d3 um, uh, he's got six plus his wizard level, which is uh, nine, plus so he's in a unit of more than ten orcs. So he casts it. So that is ten. I will try and fated dispel the army because my runesmith is running, so there's no using him. No. So you do get that. Brilliant. So here we go. And uh, then now rallying of him. That's so um, I'll, declare my, I'll, I'll declare my charges first and then, and then we'll, we'll rally him. Ah, my friend. Ooh, is this different? Yeah, old world. It's oh. in the strategy phase at the end you do rallying. Excellent. And then the actual movement of them happens in the movement phase. Cool. So, yeah. So let's, uh, let's rally him on a leadership eight. He's yep. okay. So yep, he just, fine. yeah, do his thing in a moment. Um, and then charges. Let's go on with these guys, I guess. So, uh, um, yeah. Please declare a charge. So the, the, both of these units are going yep. to declare a charge. I, I have to carry members. on running. You do. I roll five because of minus one to my free rolls because I am resolute. So the first unit. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, uh, they've, they've pretty much um, caught, caught up with you. So that would be five plus, plus their D three, which yeah. is another three. So Absolutely mowed down. Eight um, yeah. With those gone, um, I think other than um, you're charging into this cannon as well. I would. Yes. So the cannon is going to be gone with one wound left on the crew. Um, so I'll give you the cannon and then. My turn six, to be honest with you, I am out of range here. Um, and other than charging him, right? Other than charging him, which I, uh, he's out of range here, we measured earlier, because you gleefully thought, ah, I caught myself some slayers. Yeah. Um, but you're out of range. Uh, so other than that, I think me trying to eat that BSB, then it could be basically game, because there's nothing I can do in terms of getting further. Um, getting any more further points, but we'll check the points as well, because if it's super close, then we might try the BSB fight. If not, we'll just um, catch you in the end game conclusion. Yeah. Sounds like a plan? Sounds like a plan. All right. There it is, end of the game, and a crushing victory to the Orcs. Um, yeah, where did it all go wrong? 
Well, I started when I was nine. Um, so, <laughs> and I started playing Warhammer. Um, no, it was a great game, but what an absolute slugfest. I think by the end, both of our brains were properly melted. Um, there is some MVPs for today, I reckon, and probably some mistakes made on my behalf. I don't, quite, I don't know what I would have done different. So first of all, um, what is your impression of Old World? I, do you know something? I really like it. Yeah. There's good uh, to and fro yep. between the units. Um, things with high leadership, though, are hard to yeah. shift. Big time. Very hard to shift. Yeah. Um, so that's that's quite a challenge. Um, but yeah, it's so good to be playing a, a an up to date official square base, you know, yeah. games workshop game. Yeah. In the setting that we all yeah. that we all love. Yeah. Um, I totally agree. Yeah. It's it's a nice feeling to it's like it's like a nostalgia hit, but it's also something a little bit new and fresh and challenging that before, because um, once you played, not that I was an expert in 6th edition or 8th edition at all, because I didn't play it enough here, but like if you're a veteran of 6th or 8th or, or WAP or whatever it is you choose to play, and you kind of like just going through the motions because you know in and out, it's just nice to have something that's, oh, it's a little bit different, it's a little bit different. Yeah. Um, and the, the beauty of this, you can play the old games as well if you carry on, you know what I mean? I, I'm thinking of still playing 6th or 8th if I want to play like a Manfred von Karstein list, which you can't use... Um, in, there's no Manfred around, right, in, in the old world, as far as we know. Um, stuff like that. So, yeah, it's it's that having that nice other option for something different. And there's a lot of new nuances in the rules, like the like the falling back in good order or giving ground. I really like them because it's not as, um, it's not as like fatal as you break and then you run, you get cut down, and that's it. Yeah. Um, although I would say, if you want to play Devil's Advocate, it does mean there is more opportunities for like a turn six slobber knocker back and forth yeah it's um expect expect some games to to be quite protracted throughout the entire game yeah um, it'd be interesting because i had built my army here around sort of that sixth edition mm -hmm. uh themed army list and, and i'm sort of clawing at other ideas for other units black orcs are elite elite infantry they're yeah. heavy infantry dwarves are you know yeah. tough infantry so that that was a real fight yeah. Um, that we that we saw there. Be interesting to see how the, what the dynamics like with maybe some weaker uh, units like goblins or mm -hmm. you know orcs. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the fast cavalry using flee as a charge reaction yeah, yeah. and actually just catching some of our bigger infantry blocks yeah. a little bit out of position. It's good. It's a good point. Um, so, um, yeah. What about something you don't quite uh, you know gel with so far, old world style? Uh, there's no animosity for orcs. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, it's it, they are impetuous. Um, quell impetuosity is rife in my army because I've got lots of black orcs, mm -hmm. uh, so we didn't really see it. I think I maybe missed it once or twice with my chariot. Yeah, hey, we're all learning. Um, ah, yeah, yeah. But uh, the magic, um, magic's a difficult one. It, yeah. Call me old fashioned. I do prefer the dice pool. I, I yeah, I do love um, dice pool. But I, yeah. I really, I think it's it's nice and it's seamless in in this edition yeah it's just uh, i had magic missiles on a an orc that was any unit that wants to get in combat so yeah. i was marching every opportunity i had which yeah. means i can't use magic missiles yeah there you go we all learn yeah i think that um i actually had, hadn't thought about it till just now to be honest with you uh, i wasn't doing it to um outwit my opponent not that i could because i have no wits but um <laughs> You can have like characters out of units now, and they have like the special rule where you can't be targeted if you're in three if you're behind units. But then if you're behind a unit, how do you get your magic missiles off? It's it's there's more um, complexity to the game that we need to work out as we get more games under our belts um, and kind of learn how. Because I was thinking, for example, do you take do you normally take two wizards because you have a larger dispel and casting options um, rather than just the one? Because if you roll certain powers, uh, certain spells, then suddenly your um, Suddenly, you are like if you have two enhancements or something, then suddenly you're kind of very limited in what you're going to use. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like I felt, I felt like you felt limited. Other than the, the ruby ring of ruin thing, which you couldn't use because of the marching, you had the hand of um, hand of Mork spell, which was which was good for the game. Yeah. It was good. Otherwise, there wasn't like a lot to it. Which I feel what we're missing is that the impact of the magic phase as it was before, with the mini game that we played against each other, was more. Um, it felt like more of a more of a part of core part of how the how the game played overall, yeah. uh, and how the magic impacted during that phase for the following phases. So um, it's like small little changes throughout each phase what we're playing throughout each turn, which makes it feel like you're not having as much of an impact. 
there's plenty more magic to use and play. So I'm gonna you know, really delve into that further, um, especially when I've got things like my Tomb Kings to bring out or Chaos Warriors, stuff like that. And I think if I was, if I was playing my Shaman again, um, I would look more at spells which were assailment spells. Mm. They can be cast in combat. Yep. That's ultimately where I'm destined for. That's where yep. I want to be. Yeah. So you might as well. Yeah, it's a good point. Um, I've looked at many of the. I think Brain Burster is the the orcs and goblins signature spell in the gaze of our correction lore of Mork or Gork. Yep. Yep. Um, I looked at it. Going, I, I don't want to be in combat to use that. Um, no, I I do. Now that I've played the game. Yeah. I don't want the magic missile. Yeah. I, I want the assailment spell. So it's uh, amazing how it just changes your yeah. initial perception if you haven't played a game yeah, compared to when you have played one. Yeah, it's true. Um, so yeah, I think overall, I'm pretty happy with the way Old World seems to be going. I think you are too. And we're yeah. going to play more games coming up in the future when you get some time handy uh, and paint up some more orcs. I do need to paint orcs. And you have your wood elves, yeah. which we're going to be probably putting on the channel as well. Um, despite not having any Glade Guard, we'll say it now. They're just, it's an all tree man army, yep. which is very cool and thematic and sixth edition, but there's no Glade Guard. You have to, unit. it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, <laughs> my MVP is probably that big squad of uh, dwarves, even though they, oh no, actually my MVP is probably um, the Slayers because they were just putting the work in. Oh. They were, they were awesome. Even though, sorry, I missed the death blow. I do apologize. Um, it's hop, imagine hopping between armies in a brand new edition where you have like only a few days to like try and read the rules when I'm doing a full time job and everything else. So yeah, I, I do apologize, but uh, I will get more used to you know, used to the units, etc. As they go along, and I haven't, I never had dwarf army, so this is not this is my first time they, with dwarves. They put the work in. They killed the giant. Yeah, they took out eighteen black orcs. Yeah, yeah they were um, loving it. Yeah, nearly yeah. nearly took out the um, battle stand yeah. there. So they, they were great. I think the MVP for my unit has to be the Savage Orcs. Oh, they're great. Being able to have skirmishing yeah. Savage Orcs, that, the utility yeah. that you can get from that unit and skirmishers so was excellent. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm quite keen to, to paint up some more Savage Orcs. Yes. Get some more Orc Boys, maybe get some Goblins. So I'm going to expand my Orcs and Goblins. It just takes me quite a while to... Uh, quite but it's worth it because they are absolutely beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Chris, for coming in to play. And we shall have more games, like as I said, coming up in the future. And yes, thank you all for watching, taking the time, and we'll see you again very soon from Old World. Bye.